How's it going everybody welcome back to another stream hope everybody is having a wonderful beautiful day boys i out there in tonight welcome back to another uh five five one one duel series i was about to say tourney but i don't want to use that word i feel like that and somebody's gonna take it a little too literally how y'all doing welcome back hope everybody's having a wonderful beautiful day boys i gotta do something real quickly it'll take like 15 seconds i'm just uh trying to take uh i was doing some research stuff uh before i got here and uh, i was trying to uh get that research mapped out into a uh uh, uh what's the word into a notepad um or at least my own notepad discord where i just have a bunch of channels with like notes and stuff i didn't get enough time to do that so i'm just gonna copy them over and uh, parse it out later boys Today we got even more 5 5 one of those on the day. Yesterday we had a fantastic set of duels with Team Kragar and the rest of the EU boys, dude. It was nice to get these groups going so quickly. I enjoyed it. Today we got NA though. So we'll get the groups up and running in just a second. Also, by the way, ah, my arm's still messed up. Uh, season 4 is... not Season 4. War Within Alpha. Should be out any time. Any time now. Because it's supposed to be out before Season 4, and we have a release date for Season 4, which is 23rd of April. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited, dude. This next week could be an insane week. Or the week after. I'm not even sure. But this month in particular, I think, is going to be nuts. Um, okay, I'm going to write one. There we go, boys. There we go. Uh, Chicago Triple C Warrior, Kraga, Grifka, Holy Saya. Yeah, you're missing Talrion. You're missing Miko. Over on the team EU. You don't want to do it with Katarina, without Katarina. What about Kiosko? You forget him, Kiosko. He hasn't joined these duels in like a second, but still, that guy is a pumper. That guy is a monster. I would place him in one of the best survival hunters I've ever met category. Right? Big Max is pretty close. <laughs> Actually, he's big. But to be fair, Big Max is probably just a little ahead, but definitely ahead. <laughs> but Kiosko is a really good survival hunter. You know, I'd put him in there. He's pretty regular, sort of. Kinda. America is, uh, is Europe <laughs> wannabe? What the? America is Europe wannabe? <laughs> Wait, didn't America like leave? Cause they were like, we don't like your tea. We're just gonna do something different. Nah, you guys, <laughs> literally historically, they were just like, nah, we don't like what you're doing. We're just gonna make our own thing. I don't think America is a Europe wannabe, man. Monster trucks, <laughs> eat bald eagles everywhere. <laughs> Good old football fields with the measurements. I don't know. I don't think they were trying to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's what sort of goblin mode, man. I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. EU is civilized. America is goblin mode, but like in the most, is the best way possible. We're just a bunch of goobers, man. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I had to had to learn U.S. history as part of the citizenship stuff. That was a while ago. I've also been through the school system, man. America just went full on goblin mode. I don't think they were trying to mimic anybody. I think they were just trying to do their own thing. I don't know what's the point of comparing. What's up, y'all? What's up, Jake? Hi, my man. Hope you have a good one. Footballs want to be rugby. It's a different type of football, right? So uh, soccer is associated football, which is why America called soccer. America football is a uh, gridiron football, which is why we just call it football. Because that is what we call it locally. But in other countries, we would call it gridiron football. Um, and then rugby. It's a different association name to it. But a shorthand version would be a rugby. Or like, yeah. I'll show you also call it rugby. Oh, music too loud? Yeah, that's my beam. That's all good. Groups are listed right now, by the way. I'm gonna link uh, how to join the groups on the second. My beam, my beam, my beam, my beam. Groups are listed, boys! 
You guys are more than welcome to join us up right now. Um, I also gotta do this. Let's go. I like this song a lot. Oh yeah. There we go. I was just saying like there's different kinds of football, which is why it's like why Americans call it soccer. It's because of the word associated football, which is like the technical term for that kind of football, right? What we call soccer, what everybody else calls football, right? We call it a soccer here because of the word associated football. It's just a shorthand. Like I didn't make this thing. I didn't make this stuff up. This is like a real thing. That's where it all comes from. Which is why Europeans are always like, "Who? Why do you call it soccer? What does socks have to do with it?" It's like not actually socks. Like I get where you're coming from, but that's not actually where it comes from at all. Um. Wait, what? Uh, 24th in Europe, which is the main part of the world. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Mikolai is out here like defending Europe to the, his last damn breath right now. What is happening? Uh, Dallas, the man, what's up? Absolutely. Hope you're having a good one. Joe, are we joined? Let's hit it. Let's hit him, my man. We get our first group up and running here for Team NA. We got to get a second one up and running as soon as we can. Uh, actually, in soccer, you have long socks. I don't think that's why, like, from what I read, it isn't why they call it soccer. It's associated football, which is shorthand of soccer. You do have long socks. We can if you want to. I mean, it's up to you, right? You don't. <laughs> I think most. I don't know what the dress code in soccer anymore is, dude. <laughs> I don't watch soccer that often or uh, non American football. Let's go with that, right? Football. <laughs> we'll go American football and then football just for the Europeans. I'll, I'll concede. I don't care. <laughs> Mm. I thought I'd be not here in just a second. British Steel Seal better. I haven't had. I'm not a big t fan of tea to begin with, so I wouldn't be able to tell. But I imagine, yeah, like certain places they do food really, really well, or like beverages. And yeah, I imagine British tea is probably not. Probably would be up there. I imagine. You know what I mean? That's like the whole culture. Tea. It's pretty big over there. You know what I mean? Burger though, I imagine U.S. or like steaks it might be U.S. I don't know, possibly. Wedging tea, are you a lord? I don't think you have to be a lord and own land in a castle just to enjoy a sip of tea. Imagine if that was a thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> some people drink tea, some people drink coffee, man. Everybody got their preference. I'm not really that much of a coffee drinker, but I need energy, so that's my beverage of choice although sweet tea oh dude southern sweet tea in us oh my god nothing competes with it it's so much sugar straight up diabetes in a cup it is so good my god привет как со розой ти вчера дуэли были на европе сегодня дуэли на в на а следующей неделе будет ру дуэли не вижу набор группы это будет те же дни друг Hell yeah, I love my sweet tea, dude. Sweet tea is so good. Like, you know it's not good for you, but like, man, that southern hospitality and sweet tea, it is iconic, man. I love it. I love it. Having fun with Lachlan compared to SOD. Yo, dude, uh, yeah, I, I was actually like, the more I'm playing SOD, I'm like, I should, I, I kind of want to, like, I hit max level and I'm like, I guess I could do RFD or ST, but like, I'm thinking this, I'm thinking I'm gonna spend a bit more time in Wrath, just kinda getting a character pre prep for Cataclysm. Yeah. I was talking to hanging out with some guildies and like, yeah, it's anecdotally, right? Like the some of my guildies are just like, you know what? Phase three, uh eh. I mean it's still fun. You know, hanging spending time with friends, I think is the most important part, right? Yeah, sweet to you. Uh, I get extra syrup. Really? Syrup? Oh, okay. That's Interesting. I don't think I've ever done uh, sweet tea with syrup, but I imagine some places probably do add some additives or whatever. Iced coffee or hot coffee? I could do either or. I used to only do iced coffee, but like I've been drinking coffee a lot more recently and just absolutely burned the roof of my mouth and everything. Every, 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 every bit of my whole maw. So yeah, it's all been nice and nice and tempered and sealed of hellfire itself, so I could just kind of enjoy it. I prefer ice though, like if I just had a choice. But if you have Zorro Biliak, Zorro Zorro. Uh, hot ever? Yeah, I mean, if you like hot, it's cool too, man. I I, I think I prefer ice just because I could dive into it and start chugging it and stuff, right? I can start enjoying it, but with hot, it's like you gotta let it simmer. Unless it's like, unless it's cold outside, 
right? You're cozying up on the couch. You got someone warming a cup. That's beautiful, man. There's nothing better than that. How are you doing? Pretty good. How about you? How about you? Uh, then eight percent of all coffee. Um, I'm still away. Coffee? Oh, really? Okay, I had no idea. I had no clue. Jake, I was really hoping Druids would get more glyphs than we did. We got like, I'm. We got like a very passive glyph, and then another is like big AOE glyph. But bark skin glyph is kind of cool. You basically get iron bark, so if you're rest, that's kind of neat. But yeah, I feel like if I was playing out of the class, I probably would be having a lot more fun with the glyphs in SOD, dude. I'm still waiting for them to give like Druid swipe for Feral and uh, for Feral, just so you can actually swipe or even thrash, right? So both Guardian and Feral can use something. I think that'd be dope. And then give Rogues Phantom Knives, dude. I think it was so good. I think Rogues would be so OP with Phantom Knives. It'd be great. All right, so we still need two more for this team. Uh, and then we need a couple more for uh, second team as well. I want to see if Bailing was joining. See if he's down for it. Uh, Drac. I don't remember who Drac is. Your PvP healer. <laughs> I could maybe hit him up and be like, yo. Held Rock. Wait a second. Isla Conquest? Whoa. Yo, hey, hey, Canaric, hey, hey, uh, Ghost Snake. Uh, let me see if he's down to join in. I haven't had Hell Rock in these in a while. See if he's down for it. Uh, who else could I get? Sensei, I could see if he's down to for it as well. Speed, I wonder if he's on. Sure, invite. Yo, let's get you in here, man. What time uh, we are putting groups together now? Yeah, we're putting some stuff together at the moment. This moment. You're more than welcome to my man. Uh, Ty, does he want to join in Vegcraft? That could be fun. Uh, okay, this team is set. Getting a second group up real quick. I'm going to very long it, but it's going to drag out for a bit. All good. <laughs> uh -huh, all good. I'm getting. Let me do this. Let me make um bad bunny lead, yeah. So we'll do this. Canary, can you whisper me real quick on real? Actually, I already have you here, don't I? Never mind. So we're chilling. So I'll make you lead. Um, uh, hang tight, team. And I'm gonna get a second one up and running real quick. Uh, Legacy raid. If you guys want to join us for EU duel or uh, NA duels. Uh, five five one of my duels are gonna be held. The groups are gonna be held in the um, legacy raid section. Anybody and everybody's welcome to join him. Oh, hey, what is that picture you changed? I like it, dude. Wrath Guardian Mangle has a forty percent chance to grant with forty strength. Starfire twenty one percent chance. Whoa, there's like a, tr a trinket for just druids. What is that? Wait, and there's a relic for it too. I forgot that relics are a thing. Oh man. Yeah, I don't even have a relic in SOD. That's probably why I'm so behind, man. So so behind on that thing. Oh, man. Let me try to see if I can... Uh, who was it further down here? Speed. Uh, let me see if Speed wants to join in. Hey, Speed. Wanna join 5511 Dose friend? Uh, been working out? <clears throat> <laughs> uh stone blood let me see uh, uh join in friend let me whisper stone anyway um wanna into those night see if he's down to join in or not who's tesseret again i don't remember tesseret he's in the throne right now uh, oh, wait, Trickster and Rebellious? Let me see if he's done to join in. So, are you and your mage already? Uh, let me see if Tyler's wants to join in. Wanna join some modules after Sepulchre? See if we'll be done to join in. Going 3 24 and it'll be next week. Glad wins them. Get it, my guy. Get it. Get those uh, glad wins. Get the uh, mount if you if you if you're still looking for it. Uh, let me know when to invite. Cool. So we can maybe get tie in on these. Well, I was gonna invite, ma'am. 
That's held. I, I can ask Drac. Who is Drac though? I don't remember Drac at all, man. I don't remember Drac at all. Uh, doubt please for some, um, somehow like myself who doesn't play the game, but watch for fun. Make sure sub rogues go last, please. Yo, we will do the very best we can. What I'm thinking is we kind of just, um, let everybody run amok at the very beginning. But yeah, if sub rogues are like a constant problem for the night, we will probably make some adjustments. Any groups doing? I need to make one. Uh, I got one, uh, made. Uh, two, yeah, there. Group two. If you guys want to join us, by the way, groups are going to be listed in Raid's Legacy under Molten Core. Anybody and everybody is welcome to join in. The Epic Games are horrid. Yeah, I feel you on that. Totally. Yeah, after yesterday, we had Griff join in on his uh, main and his alt. Yeah, I feel you on that. We will see. Like, I'm not going to make any kind of special rules or, like, punish sub rogues at the beginning. But if, like, it becomes a real big problem, then I'll be like, you know what? Let's just have sub rogues go last or something. All right. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the night goes. I'm not gonna punish him of the bad. Black Temple Exalted Trinket, really? And I'm full. Temple Exalted Trinket? You, gonna, you have a rep with that Black Temple? I thought Black Temple was raid, or is there a faction in there? Um, If I'm full buffed on my EP, S3, Strange of Saw, Prox, I said I'm full for three. I don't know if that's a lot. Mall said like a truck? Awesome. Awesome, hell yeah. Feel like PvP. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, ties down to join in. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe I'll see if uh, Nicholas wants to join in. I wanna um, hop uh, into some firepower one ones. See if he'd be down to join in. That's all I ask. Thanks for the problem, man. Aren't NA rogues just as bad as EU with dampening? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's not like an EU and an A thing. That's just a rogue thing. I don't disagree with you at all. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's just a sub thing. Uh, we do sometimes have like... Um, maybe in a bit? Okay, okay. Is that Ty that just joined in? Possibly... Where is he? Yeah, it is Ty. Okay, so we'll need a couple more. And then we should be uh, chilling. Come to raid. Pop that. Beautiful. So I need... Hey. Uh, we need... Five? Rocket the Feral? Go for it. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Actually, no. Should I even say good luck? Because Ferals were kind of popping off yesterday. Actually doing pretty good. Or rather, like, one, but still representing him pretty well. You know what I mean? Doing good with it. Either way. <laughs> uh, if Trickster comes back to me, then maybe we'll be able to get a, a plus one with him as well on the Rebellious. Best bank against Sub Rogue, though. Uh, is there a counter to Sub Rogue? Sat there last night thinking Dima. Dima used to be. But, like, it's... Uh, man, it's... Hmm. It's... That's a good question, actually. I think, like, a good Demonology Warlock can do well. A good Survival Hunter can do well, but it's a tough one also. I don't think there's a hard counter class anymore, especially if the Rogue plays to win, right? So it does everything he can to win, right? So you think of, like, if he's going to be chilling in stealth, recovering cooldowns, literally doing everything, yeah. Bless me with a good fortune, I bless Haddad. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can bless Atha. Where, where, what are some of the priest emotes we got? Priest class Discord. Give me a good priest emote, man. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what about this? Hold on. What if I do? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's, a bit, that's about as good of a blessing I can give me Atha. Good luck with the mount. He's still trying to get the um, door charm mount, man. Too many resets? It is a lot of resets. Hey guys, what's up, Reckless? How you doing, my man? Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> hey, that's such a good progress, man. Hypers? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, uh, the dots to keep them out of stealth. It's hard, though, because, like, even if you put bleeds on them, they can cloak it. Dots, you can, they can cloak it. You gotta get a cloak out of them, but that's not easy. I think, like, a, it, you have to... So, no class, I think, hard counters a sub rogue anymore. Not after the rework. Um... I think, like, a well-versed survival hunter can do well. A well-versed paladin could do well. Well-versed mage or demon warlock can do well. But I don't think any class, like, hard counters them, right? Because some classes do get a hard counter pretty easily. Um, uh...
There's the people attacking the outskirts? I don't know. Yeah, well, keep them over there, dude. Don't have them fight me over here. Keep them there, man. Don't put them over here on me. With the world boss being out, give them, give them something to do so they're not bugging me at the moment. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna... I might have to kill up Drac, too. I don't remember if he's a healer or not. I really should mark him or something. Would Sol be interested? Because I know he's usually doing world PvP up by by this point. Does Vamp want to join in? Hold on. Hey Vamp, want to join? I see Chicago's on too. Good time anyway, Dow. Thanks for the fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Dodds don't last long enough for most cases. Yeah, there would need to be like long-term dots. Like dots that almost are permanent. Yeah, I think that's the only way to really like guarantee an easier time against rogues. Yeah, sub rogues, man, they're just in a one to one setting, it's very, 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 very strong spec. They're. I don't want to make it sound super defeatist when I say, like, there's really not a lot you can do about them, but. I feel like they fit. You know what I mean? I feel like it fits. If it fits, it fits. You know? Let me see what Drak is going to join him. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cause Hellbrock he said he's gonna be maybe potentially able to join. Okay, speed is down to join him. We'll see if I can invite him real quick. And that'll be I think another sub rogue, but speed is a lot of fun to watch. I think you guys will like speed and tricks if he joins in. Errorless is another fun character to watch. Chicago, yo hey. Hey. Uh Okay, let, m let me know when to in. Okay, so we got a plus one with Drag, who's down to join in after a world quest. But uh, yeah, we got a last one. So, Canaric. <laughs> so whenever you are, whenever we get a five man, I'll hit you up and be like, if you guys five, and we'll just queue and we'll just spam mud as much as we can. Uh, like you're saying, the game was a bounce for 1v1. One one. Yeah, I would love for Blizzard to do some kind of like a bounce joining for 1v1. One one. I think it will be a lot of like effort, right? And you would need some kind of like a team to work on the tuning for it. That being said, like, I don't think they would really commit into proper 1v1 one one balancing for classes unless it was like game mode and enough interest in it. But I think it'd be cool if there was like a competitive dueling scene where classes could duel against each other and everything was kind of tuned. But yeah, maybe there would have to be some special rules, right? Let's say if it's a rogue against a mage, you would have certain stipulation on the rogue. But maybe if it's like a rogue and a death knight, other stipulations would hit the rogue in different ways, right? So maybe against a mage, like, you don't have to nerf rogue's mobility or something, right? But against a death knight who is like has a hard time catching up to rogue, which is going to run circles around him or around the pillar, you might have to do like some kind of adjustments in movement or cooldowns or increase in sprint or... You know, something like that, right? We need to do some kind of like little tunings to make fights a little closer. Not like, you know, trying to make things as even as possible. I'm, that's a lot of effort. I mean, look at the season three, right? People have been asking if they do some MMR fixes. And we still haven't really gotten much of a response. I assume it's because probably a lot of them are working on War Within at this point. Um, and probably the class design on that front. I mean, they're definitely putting effort, like, look at SOD, that's got, like, a whole new, you know, phase or whatever. And Plunderstorm, I mean, whether you like it or not, that is, like, quite a bit of effort that went into making Plunderstorm and putting it all together, right? So I imagine they just maybe, like, swamp for time, and if there was enough interest, I imagine they would balance classes a bit better for pure 1 ones if there was, like, a, a new 1 one game mode, which I would love to see. I think it'd be awesome. Nightmare to program? It's not, I don't think it would be a programming problem. I think it would just be like a balancing thing, right? How do you even out classes in a one-to-one -one environment? What kind of a arena would you create, right? Because if you do like an outside Durator area with no line of sight, for a game that's designed with line of sight in mind, at least for 2v2s and 3v3s, right? Boxes, pillars, like all those things are there for a reason. They're not there as like a backdrop. They're there specifically for the, uh, the content. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make Chicago lead for this one, because this will be perfect. Oh, no, 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 we got full No, Paladin will get you next time, man. Okay, this team is set. Chicago lead. We Q. Beautiful. We'll get you in the next one, Paladin. I'll definitely get you in on this one, man. I'd love to have you in these. 
Only Chicago lead. Um, or are you on real ID real quick? Are you online? Hold on, why am I not? Are you online or offline? Because if you're on online or offline, I won't be able to find you. Where are you? Why am I? Hold on, why am I having a hard time finding you? It is Chicago, right? Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, let me do this. Chicago, uh, are you online or offline? Unreal ID. I'm having hard time. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. Beautiful. Yeah, I won't even be able to queue you unless you're um. What's it? Won't be able to queue you up unless you're online. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now we're set. Now we're set. I can't even spell offline. Jesus. Showing offline might be. Oh, good, good, good. Chica. Yeah, whoever you're hiding from. Hold on, let me double check. Ready? Just double check. Match. Eric and Chicago. Five. The grand one. Beautiful. We got some games, boys. Давай, давай. Вы миссия в друзья. Давай, давай, давай. А будет меня мистика. Я не пишу, как как это будет на Battle.net. Это будет one three four zero. There we go. Если это копиш копи в Battle.net, можешь добавить меня. Хорошо? Uh, he's asking if he could add me because he wants to join in for duels next week for EU. And yeah, that's what being at. If you guys want to add me, more than welcome to him. Excuse me, uh, какой у тебя имя? Uh, wait, what is this? Wait, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I needed playlist. Why is the playlist so all kinds of whatever? I, I don't even. Well, hold on. Okay, now I think we're good. Yo. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. Switch, switch. Excavation. Okay, I'll get you after. How does that sound? Got us this bad bunny over for the D1 as an assassination rogue. I love that assassin. We got Buddha over as a Nightborn mage. I like it. We got Kinnon over here, Merlin, and Parasite. It looks like Buddha is going to be first up and running versus speed. The boy is back in on that team. We got ourselves a Vith. We got our. I'm going to call you Vith. Right? Vith? I, I can't, I don't even know. Chicago, the beautiful guy, HW, as well as Heldrock. Coming back into some marksman. No, I kind of want to see Heldrock on that MM. Oh my goodness. Do you know how much we see marksmen in these? Buna absolutely getting shredded. Oh my god. His name is Speed for a reason. I mean, that was a fast takedown. <laughs> <laughs> my god, first sight trying to see if we can lock him down, trick it off for speed as he goes up for a quick kidney shot mid eye beam, trying to see if he can back up out of there. Although Paris that is no stranger to these rogues, man. Trying to see if he can get around the corner. He's gonna get bleeds up to speed. He's gonna start cutting the boy up. Glaze is gonna throw in. Sigil of fire cinching him. A speed trying to find himself a bit of a reset. He's looking for a better recovery. Got just enough health to survive. And not die that encounter, but definitely needs to get himself some kind of a reset. Next stun out of Parasite could be deadly. Sun trinkets it. Big hunt to follow. Speed needs an answer. May not have it. Oh, before the cloak of shadows even comes up. Parasite is so good at locking these rogues down, man. Is gonna go for a quick juke versus Vith. Trying to go for a clone. Is gonna disrupt it. Trinket to follow. Got himself big cleave. Looking to maximize the damage. Vith may need some defenses for this one. Got himself full incarn. But I don't really know. Barskin wall. Everything is available. Trying to go for a reset. Clown onto Parasite, but he's dotted up. Not quite Feral Bleeds, not as strong as Feral Bleeds. But damn, his, the amount of damage he's taken right now is still quite a bit. And that's a Demon Hunter right on his tail. He will be able to spot, he will be able to see him. Wait, I thought there was a thing above your head for a second. It looked like there was a trinket. I don't know why. He didn't trinket, right? He did trinket earlier with his rogue. Stun onto Vith, doesn't have a trinket. Might be down for the count. Big Blade Dance. Oh my goodness, the amount of damage a Demon Hunter can do. To a leather class is a lot. Held Rock is going to be up next. Keeping a little bit of a breather for Parasite. As a marksmanship hunter, though, I think you will have to be extra, 
extra deadly here. May just have to get super brutal. Big rapid fire from a distance. Parasite takes damage just from an opener. And look how much damage this guy just took off the bat. Hunter, man. For Parasite, he's gonna have to be very careful. He's got immunity. He's got Mage Foot sending down. Held Rock Force to push in. That's gonna be scattering to Parasite. Oh, Freezer Trap as he tried to go for immune. Hold on, Held Rock. This could be huge. That's like huge immunity. Stone onto Parasite as he gets his pet out. Rapid Fire kill shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that opener helped him secure that win. Who's up next? Is it gonna be Kenna? Is it gonna be Merlin? This is a cooldowns. This is a cooldowns for Held Rock. He's like, come on, somebody who's go next. Go next, somebody next. I have CDs rolling. Oh, man. That momentum is going to go for a big CC onto Kinnon off the bat. I think try to see if he can hit him with a... Was it just trying to remove the bus off of him? I think so. Volley's down. Big Chakram. That is going to be Polymer to follow. Has a trinket in case he needs to. Going to be a Polly. Trying to go for a quick stun. Hellbrock is going to try to see if he can back up out of there. Kinnon with a full ray is going to go for a bit of a feign death out of it. Kinnon not in a great spot on health. He does have the shields. We are only 30% dampener in. Freezing Trap on a Kinnon does try to go for an interrupt. But it looks like maybe interrupt came through after Freezing Trap. Is that what I saw? Scatter into Kinnon for just a second. Big volley and rapid fire. He knows it's explosive. He knows it's going to do a lot of damage. Popping a block. That's yes, Heldrock looking for a bit of an escape here from the water elemental. My goodness. Retreat. Can, uh, can uh, stun blur. Yeah. No, whenever he does Ventral Retreat, yeah, he becomes immune to CC for a little bit. That was definitely a tough one. He kind of just had to guess that a Feral would maybe rush at him from years of experience, I imagine. Cannon take a lots of damage. Death Shock him together with an Explosive. Quite a lot of damage. Rapid Fire just doing a number. Gonna be Cannon recovering a bit of health. Aim Shot is ready to go, though. Brand does connect, letting him lock down Heldrock. Looking for a stun. Does he get to go for it? He needs the most amount of damage. Turtle Shell out of Heldrock just to immune the CC. Got him some big Aim Shot ready to go. Polly out of Cannon. Does interrupt him perfectly oh my god the rapid fire that is so, so good with merlin gonna be up next second to last over our four team one trying to see if he could rush it held rock held rock doesn't have any way to escape this he tried to go for a camera earlier all he can do is control merlin got himself freezing trap at the very best but around that pillar merlin can easily bubble and sprint over to you it's not going to be easy. That hammer also flying super, super close to you. Almost lands it. Held Rock looking to maybe escape. He needs to get a slow into Merlin. He's super low on health. He's almost in the execute range. Whatever range damage you can do to Merlin could be huge. Bubble for this death shock. I'm really aggressive bubble as Merlin is just doesn't want to deal with any of this. Held Rock got cooldowns rolling in. Maybe he can go for stun around the corner. Stun. Merlin has a human racial to break out of this. If he wanted to, he does try to see if he can get himself a setup versus Heldrock. Heldrock's still super, super low. Volley down for a second. Heldrock got himself the big cooldowns. Rapid fire. Plenty of damage. Shield event is barely holding on, but it is going to stay there. Massive aim shot. Might be a kill shot right here. Potentially. Is it enough? So close. Second. Oh, that arcane shot at the very, very end. Does do him in. Does he have a camo? Does he have anything? Rogue charging in. Feign death. Perfect on the cheap shot. Trinket is available on the road Scatter right after. He got range on the rogue. Rapid fire behind the pillar. Might be a cloak out of the rogue and a reset. I'm not even lying. I might actually be cloaked just for a mark for death or hunter's mark and a reset. Because otherwise, Hellbrock at least knows exactly where you are. Flare, he sees you. He can keep range. You can't get close enough to shadow step. He got a freezer trap. He's waiting for you to step. He knows he's gonna step. Oh, another turret trap just root him in place. Oh, Vanish, he still sees you though. He still sees you. He's got sights on you. Cloak of Shadows to remove it. That's a pretty good, big, big cooldown. Sack, maybe that'll be enough. Hellrock needs something here. Stun before the death mark comes out. He got a little bit of health, just very, very little. I think it might be over. Bad Bunny with the bleeds was enough to take down a hunter, but excellent performance by Heldrock. My goodness, what an opener. Massive blaster, and Bad Bunny's not gonna... Yeah, he's just like, you know what? I'm out of cooldowns. This is it. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> we can get another one going, though. If the groups don't go anywhere, we can get Unomas in here, boys. Unomas, Unomas. Let me know if you still got five. I'm down to keep playing over and over, boys. I'm down to keep going. That was insane opener. That was crazy. Five. Uh, R. Hold on. Did Chicago just write R or is it like later wrote R? Canon is Canon. Okay, it might be, might be, might be. Definitely might be then. Uh, hook. We're going to hook point. Two moves, 75% HP gone. True. Some classes can definitely do quite a lot of damage in the opener. Survive. So, well, you're talking about Marksman Hunter, you're talking about what uh, uh, Baneling did earlier, Parasite did earlier. Because he just got lots and lots of damage, man. Lots and lots and lots of damage. Did someone invite me? Uh, one good to seed. Uh, invite. Okay, Ten is trying to switch over from Mage to Rogue. He doesn't want to play anymore. He's like, you know what? I'm playing sub. Nope. Nope. I'm not playing this Mage. 
Adam. Um, invite. Can I make this raid? Over to raid, invite. Oh, two rogues in one team? Oh, that's gonna be disgusting, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, here we go. That's gonna be disgusting. But what can you do? Bring your DH, man. DHs are a lot of fun, too. People say DH is two buttons. It was legit two buttons. Was it? I don't know. It was literally two buttons. Look, okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I, have you played Demon Hunter back in, like, Legion, BFA, before Shadowlands? Because it was, like, really, really, really simple before. It did a lot of damage. Nowadays, it still do need, like, buttons to set up a big go, right? They are going to press only a handful of abilities that will do actual damage, but that setup and everything that goes into it, there is a bit of, like, a go to it. Like, compared to where it used to be, Demon Hunter's Fire Buttons. Yes and no. It's... Yes, but also how you use those buttons is just as important, but also that setup and the buffs that you can get from other abilities that are not quite damage buttons also play part into that whole combo. I'm not even talking about stuns, but like damage buffs from like mobility and such. I I, I want to I want to get sorry, oh man, I know Demon Hunters don't get like a lot of good cred, but I think some I think they deserve good cred, man. They've got a little bit harder to play. There's a bit more skill of question than before, just from experience. Switch, switch. Got ourselves Merlin, I think going first up potentially. Yeah, it looks like Merlin is up versus Vith of the bat, unless it's not Merlin. Maybe they're still trying to decide it. Buno on the team. We got ourselves Parasite in the back. We got ourselves Tear as well as Bad Bunny ready to go. And looks like it is Merlin, I think. Vith goes in for an opener, but it looks like Merlin is not the first. I mean, it looked like it. So I can't really blame Vith. I don't think, yeah, I, at least Vith backed up. He's like, you know what? I'm not trying to, like, kill a guy just because it's not dueling, but, like, I tried to get a, get a, get a go because that's what it looked like. You know what I mean? I, I While I tried to figure it out, we got us this HW. Didn't get to play last time. Held Rock popping off last game. Speed also popping off hard mode rails as well. But Chicago, I switched up your mods again. <laughs> uh, who is the first over in a team one? Which one of you is a guy? Which one of you is, is it? I they're all trying to figure it out. They're just looking amongst each other. Definitely, is it Merlin? If it's Merlin, get him, give him, let him heal a little. Let him heal a, even a little bit. Oh no, he doesn't even get the opener. Wait, Vith, not Rake. Just a shred opener. Is that what that was? Merlin with a full crusade though. He's got a bubble ready to go. Cyclone it does go for the trinket. Bubble to follow. That is quite a lot of cooldowns out of Merlin either way. As Vith might be able to get quite a bit if he can just live this bubble. As well as live the crusade. Did he stun him before him? Did he try to stun him at some point? Stun onto Merlin. Still got himself the big crusade with Shield of Vengeance. If he got a Hodge, it could be a ton of damage either way. These stuns are not lasting long at all, though. They are very the yard. Shield of Vengeance popping onto Vith goes in for a big renewal, catching up quite a lot of healing. Massive wake of ashes for Merlin, but looks like he's down for a lot of cooldowns. Judgmenting speed? Or was that just like a random proc of. Divine Toll. Might have been Divine Toll proc, honestly. Vin does go in for the jugular, taking him out with a good old bite. Parasite giving him a moment just to catch a breather, but it's not like he's going to be able to catch South. Like, Parasite, he knows these stealthy classes, man. He can literally see you catch them fairly quickly. He's going to get the stun, not a trinket out of it. Just a DR, very, very DR stun. Does get a bash of the Parasite as he's looking for a bit of a reheal. He is going to have to play around those stuns now. He's going to have to wait until DR's around. Maybe put some bleeds on a parasite. Try to knock him through the wall. If only it worked. I know there's like a little little crack in the wall, so you think it maybe it'll work, but not quite. No, it's a it's a proper wall. It just it just looks all kinds of shabby. It doesn't mean it's actually holes through it. I'm only imagine if you're just like a hunter and you're just firing firing at somebody in between the cracks. How unbelievable would that be? Big hunt right now into Vith. Barsky to follow. Got himself at least a bit of defense. There's no wall for this. No, trying to use Bear Form to recover. Hard to the wild keep of this man rolling. But that's going to be Mad Cleave. Parasite got the offensive. It is going to pressure. Press the pressure once he's established it. There's just not much you can really do there, man. Heldrog going to be up next, though. Last time Heldrog got a hell of an opener. Parasite, though, got this box right here or this wall. It is a much, much better line to side for him. So you can kind of get snugly over with the uh, chicken farmers or chicken guy over there. There is a KFC like NPC over there, by the way. Rapid fire held rock from a mile away. He is trying to see if he can get himself a little bit of range damage. No, no uh, camo this time around is going to bust out the pet. Try to give himself a little bit extra health to work with. Look at that. 
Look at that guy with the attire. That's a KFC man, 100%. So Parasite trying to see if he can approach Heldrug, but slows are going to be pretty detrimental. Demon Hunters can rush at enemies, they can venture retreat, but as slow for passive movement, they don't have a lot of ways to break as slow. If they can position correctly, they can rush over to get closer to somebody, but a constant slow, and if you're out of movement, it is going to be definitely detrimental. Sitting down for some food, Hellrock setting up traps all around the place. He's trying to make sure he gives himself the open versus Parasite, using the line of side together with Rapid Fire to give himself a go. Stun onto Parasite as he goes in for a trick and trying to see if he can charge her with Hellrock, keeping the damage rolling. That's going to be a freezing trap immediately. And Hellrock, if he can get himself an angle, that is, I think, blur out of Parasite. Yeah. Quite a decent damage reduction, mounting up to stay ahead of the guy as best as he can. Scatter to follow, full burst is available, Parasite breaking out of the scatter fairly quickly. Fear onto Heldrock, massive haunts down to follow, I think it just might be over massive cleave. Unless Heldrock got something for this one, big defensive, massive heal, Parasite still taking hits after hits. That's gonna be Turtle Shell on the Death Chakram. Parasite, I don't know if you can stun him. Does he have a stun? He doesn't know, it's just over. He's captured his soul, what is this? He Oh my goodness, he put him through the ringer with that one. That's a lot of choice over there. And Parasite, man, that is quite a lot of cooldowns committed. Now Bad Bunny charging in with speed, taking out Parasite very quickly, turning his attention to Bad Bunny immediately, trying to make sure he establishes the perfect opener. Bad Bunny takes huge hits though, with that sepsis rotting him down, trying to go for a bit of a uh, shadow meld. May need a cloak of shadow to remove the dots potentially. He knows he doesn't want to give up any uh, defenses for speed just yet. He has a trinket for now. He needs to get a full set of dots on the speed. Speed does not have a trinket, so for Bad Bunny, he just needs a full kidney shot. Kidney, trinket side of it. Cloak of Shadows just dodge. Cheap shot right after. Still lots of damage taken. That's going to be Cloak of Shadows to help him at the very least from Secret Technique Blind. Speed gets hit with a cheap shot. Try himself a trinket. Hold on, I thought he didn't have a trinket. Never mind, Bad Bunny does vanish out. Speed, if you fanatize right now. Oh, if you fan right now. Is he dotted? I think he is dotted. So Bad Bunny can't even go for a sap on the guy. Both of them have no trinket speed. Picking up the eye to stay aggressive. Sprinting at Bad Bunny. He more or less knows where he's at. He definitely should be able to find it fairly quickly. Gouged by Bad Bunny first though, but he doesn't have a stun. He doesn't have the comp points for it. He needs himself a restealth. Unless Disarm does try to see if he can get built some comp points. Speed can respond for a moment. If you get a full kidney, you might just be able to take it. Dance isn't available, but you have death mark. If you can wait 20 seconds, I don't know if you can. I think you just might have to go. Kidney? Oh, both of them have calm points. At this point, both of them have kidney shot calm points. Whoever gets first kidney wins this, I think. Oh no, they're just stabbing each other through the wall. No, cheap shot for speed. I think he might just take it. Cheap shit, cheap death. Not available for Bad Bunny. And speed does end up taking it. He is quick. He is living up to the name speed. Butir or Buna gonna be up next. I think it's gonna be Buna. Last time Buna went up against speed. I mean, you blink and you miss it. My goodness, that was just a lot. A speed just keeping the pressure on these boys. He is really quick with his burst. Really quick. I do like how this game so far hasn't gone... Haven't gone to deep dampening just yet. <laughs> it just shows you like what a good sub rogue that's really, really well versed at their class. With the burst and damage. Like if they set up a good go, they could do a ton. Try to go for a bit of a go versus Sabuna. Seeing that all the time does end up retreating a little. Still all the time is up. So you know, committing cooldowns right now on Sabuna. Not really worth. I don't even know. Did you dodge the uh, breath just there? Frozen Orb does end up getting caught around the corner. I think Speed still would get hit by it if he does walk into it. Kidney on Sabuna. No way out. No blink. I think Buna might be dead. Cheap shot. Being of history, it's back to back. I think, ah, oh, Ice Black last second, speed with the Cloak of Shadows. I think just in case, maybe trying to see if we can cover in case the mage goes for a breath or something. Possibly, but that's a defensive gone. Hold on, for Buna, this is technically a chance. It's not an easy one. But now that the rogue does not have a Cloak of Shadows anymore, technically a chance. Maybe something you could work with here, possibly. This goes up for a cheap shot, trying to see if he can carve those eviscerates into a Buna with not a lot of health. Blinks, maybe CC, bear living, breath, hold on, set up something right now, you may need something in a moment, you need slow something, anything, oh, you still like somehow, I don't even know, Polly, okay, speed has a trinket, <laughs> I was about to say, speed has a trinket, he could hold it, he's not gonna hold it, he's just gonna send it, insta send it, Buna does have a second ice buck, I think at this point, right, maybe, yeah, he does, I don't know what you can do there now. Now that he's got double vanish, unless you get a full breath poly and then set something up big time on him. Maybe if you go for the stun. Actually, you could. He if you can get yourself a proper AOE stun on the guy, breath, poly, stun him with your uh snow drift if you're running snow drift. I don't know if you are. You might be. 
Can you shout him to Buna? Do you have enough to live this? Big secret technique. Those eviscerates hurt. Those eviscerates hurt a lot. Does go for the step. Oh no. Tear charging out while speed is out in the open. Wait, speed does catch a reset. Tear trying to see if he can find him. Cheap shot by speed. Got him some blades. Evasion up really early. Blind right after. Does get stunned up again. Speed is still holding on to cheat death, so he's okay. Does Tear have enough damage here? Use secret for this one. Wait, does secret do anything special? No, right? Vanish out of speed does get himself a little bit of survivability, but still quite a bit of damage from the sepsis rotting him down. Is able to at least get away from Tia really, really quickly. If you can get yourself another go, Tia has a trinket, so you might just trinket this. Yeah, trinket it immediately. Do you have an opener? Try to step around him. Cheap shot right after, just punishing Tia back to back with his eviscerates. He's got himself evasion, trying to avoid it. Speed does get hit with a cheap shot. Cheat death doesn't even do anything. Okay. All right, I think he might have. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, he did proc a cheat death out of him earlier. Never mind. I thought it was one of those cheat deaths that uh just gets consumed from damage. Gouge into Chicago. Do you have a kid to shot? Cheap shot is available. Chicago goes in for a trinket, trying to see if he can just end tier right here. He has a vanish available, but he's slowed. The guy's just trying to see if he can crawl away from Chicago, but he's got, if he's got a flame shock on him. He will be put out in the open in just a minute here. Chicago picking up eyes. Should be able to catch him. Does catch him with the flame shock. If you can go for another root totem around the corner, or even a static totem and pull him away from pillar, that would also do it too. That would definitely also do it as well. Gouge on to Chicago. Just try to see if he can buy himself a breather. He needs some cooldowns. He got himself a blind coming up very soon. Shadow Blades is available. Dance, I don't think is up. It looks like Dance isn't up for another 15 days. Half a week was the wait. <laughs> what is with the dance? What is happening? Looks like he does have some kind of a dance going right now. 30. Well, actually, no. Now it's working properly. Big damage on Chicago. Does have defenses. The wall last minute as he got no health whatsoever. Looking to survive, but a gouge by tier at the end. Does let him at least stop Chicago in place. Doesn't even get a global to even go for a heal and then eviscerate to punish him right after. With HWU, going to be a last one left. Nice little bow, giving Tyr an opportunity to at least catch a reset, and Tyr sitting down with some mana buns. Does HW just charge in, stop Tyr from healing, or he's just gonna... Looks like he just let him do the full heal. No, sorta, kinda. He's trying to give him as kind of an honor duel. But also he knows it is a rogue, so he doesn't want to give him complete escapes out of here. Big fuss if you were to follow, Tyr does get himself a vanish. Uh, Ring of Peace does call out, catch him out in the open, no odds for this one. Tyr needs an answer right now, cheap shot. Does he have the damage? I don't think he does. Karma immediately. Oh, that's secret to be karma over. I think he just died to that, right? Between Zuen and Karma? Maybe? Or no? Hold on a second. I think he might just get himself a chance, an opportunity here. Evasion is available for Tier. HWU could go for the in cap and then touch death. I think it's over. But if Tier, he does have a trinket. If he's very, very careful with it, he could potentially escape out of this one. Eyes are available, so for HW, he could pick him up really, really quickly before he can even get a chance here in cap. I think it's over. Oh, cheat lives the cheat death. Hold on, cheat death for the touch of death. He lives it. Big counter. Cheap shot onto HW. He needs to make the most amount of damage. Does he do it? 45 brood. That might be enough. Another cheap shot. He got nothing. No more stuns. He's got evasion. That's about it. Hold on a second. He needs something. Wait, maybe. Oh, he still takes it either way. No shot. Oh my goodness. These rogues. <laughs> that was wild. I thought it was over, but cheat death, man. You know, sometimes cheat death just doesn't even proc. When you die, it doesn't save you. These rogues are getting actually saved, but cheat death. It has got a while. Let's get another going. My God. Still a little laggy. I mean, still doing pretty good. Do we need a plus one? Okay, okay, we'll get a plus one. Pass me lead, I'll list it. We need a plus one, boys, for Team Bad Bunny. So if you guys want to join in, well, welcome to him. Give him an inch, man. Yeah, don't give rogues an inch, man. That's lesson learned. Lesson thoroughly learned. Paladin guy, getting him, my man. I saw you earlier trying to set up. We can get you into this group, yeah? Uh, also, Chicago, let me know if you need more homies as well. Paladin, there you go. Oh, we need one more. Sniper, I'll join certified. Okay. Cool. So we'll wait for you then. And that'll be our fifth. It looks like we have five, but minus me, sixth. And just how you doing, my man? Made some delicious cabbage soup for dinner. Cabbage, chicken, carrots, onions, celery, tomatoes, and tomato chicken stock. That sounds actually pretty good. Hockey? I'm going to invite Sniper, but hockey, I'll get you in as soon as we got a group. Just because Sniper hit me up earlier about it. I will get you a spot as soon as we got one hockey. I definitely need you, I need you in here. To get you playing these as soon as possible. Chicago, if you need more uh, bodies, let me know. Otherwise, uh, this is a good set. We get Bad Bunny. 
with a promo. Beautiful. Uh, art. See if Chicago is good to go. Hockey will definitely get you in as soon as we got a spot. Promise you. You'd want perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect. And I got one. I got one for you. Hockey can join you. Unless you already have your group listed. You do have listed. Hockey, join uh, Chicago real quick. Hockey, if you find Chicago's group right now, I'll get you in like this. That'll work too. Uh, Hockey, where are you? Hockey. Hockey, where are you? Oops, all good, all good. All good, all good. Do you guys get hockey? Okay, hockey. The groups are going to be listed again in LFG Rays Legacy under Molten Core. If you join Chicago, you'll be, um, yeah, you'll be able to get in pretty easily. Jimmy, a uh, high turn paladin combo. Somebody, a high turn paladin combo? What are we talking about, high combo? What, 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 do, what do I mean? Can't find the group. Uh, Reinv. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I got. So I can find him. Well, I can get him in your group. We could probably get a. No mind, got it. Okay, no mind. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Alrighty, we'll get you guys going. Got him. Beautiful. We'll do a um, rook. We'll do black rook hold, right? A black rook hold. I like black rook hold a lot. It's just a cool arena, in my opinion. Uh, should have I uh, hit? Uh, I should be healed from my emergency surges by the time you patch drops. Hell yeah, Gilda, that's awesome. That is awesome to hear, my guy. Should be nice and healthy and happy for uh, new content, new stuff to do. Also, War with an Alpha should be out very, very soon before season four, so it could be dropping any week, boys. Any week between now and twenty third. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. And hopefully, this boy here in front of your stream will be able to get in. I didn't get into the classic beta, which I was a little bit sad about, but hopefully it's uh hopefully we get in at some point just because I want to check out classic. But hopefully we're within. We pray. We got into Shadowlands, we got into uh Dragonflight. Hopefully we're within will treat us well. Um where are we at with the uh, NA duels? Okay, hold on. 630? You guys are in 630s. You're a 100 ahead of EU. My goodness. Gentlemen, you guys are insane. NA6. One? <laughs> oh my god. Gentlemen, you guys are insane. Gentlemen, 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 you guys are crazy. Which, which? It's going to be certified first up or for the team one versus in US. He's trying to see if he can get it himself. An angle got himself death shock him off immediately into a grenade sent in. I'm loving that mod, man. That actually looks so good with the monocle on top of it, too. I think it's a nice little accessory touch stun for certified, but at least he doesn't have the hunter ripping him apart while he's stunned out in the open. Does get an opportunity, close the gap, get a stun. Could be a few on both the pet as well as the hunter. Perfect opportunity to get both of them dotted full PI board eruption. Everything is available. He's just sanding all of it in silence under the hunter, trying to see if he may be one of those void uh, bolts. Does connect, none of them connected to the mortar or just void does not make enough damage there to happen binding shot onto the pet is that what happened Fear of the eagle round for the hunter maybe a defense out of certified does go for disperse he is not in a great spot right now this is the most amount of damage out of any right now and he's just living it certified so far has been able to tussle with this man fairly handily but oh my god the damage just came out of nowhere what the hell was that was just a kill shot what the hell was that at the end it felt like he was just fine, walked in, just took a good chunk out of his health bar. My goodness, Bat Bunny walking into a trout trap, not amazing, but does get himself at least a Saparoo over here as Inu setting up all those traps, stone into Bat Bunny, looking to get out of that side of the arena completely. He just wants to reposition, he doesn't want to do any of this. Bat Bunny stuck over there with a hippo, come on man, this hippo already got spears in him. My goodness, Hunter chose violence, he really did. That's what I love about survival hunters. I don't think we see a lot of survival hunters on a regular, but when you do, man, the amount of burst damage survival does. I don't think a lot of people expect it. I think that's the best part, honestly. 
Bad Bunny does almost try to escape out of here. Hunter's Mark locking him down. At the very least, he can maybe approach in you. In you standing on the freezing trap. And it's actually the diamond ice freezing trap. So he has to trinket it. There's no way for him to break it. Evasion is available. Doesn't want to get stunned by the uh, biting shot. But he's dodging. Look at those dodges, man. Look at the nimble feet. He's just avoiding this completely. Does end up avoiding the stun. Shadow Melt still dodges. Still got a Hunter's Mark on him. Does not want to press a uh, camo or cloak of shadows just yet the pet though not letting it go anywhere whatsoever traps stocked up probably around either side of the arena grenades getting sent in as Inu able to keep pummeling the rogue without even seeing the guy quick stun does give him a bit of grenade damage bad bunny knows he wants to get in he got calm points he got a kidney shot ready to go cloak of shadows in case there's traps all around this area is he gonna wait hold on oh he, he, he just he just out he's done he gave up he decided nope not doing it. That is a tough one, man. I mean, the hunter just avoided him completely. Yeah, so Bad Bunny did hit the surrender. He doesn't. Re he doesn't get removed. He just kind of got to be uh, just tri trembling here for the rest of the time. So whoever's next, Merlin, Paladin, or Buna, you guys gotta go because Bad Bunny. He's uh, he's done. Yeah, Merlin, 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 Merlin. Yeah, in you so far got two down. I mean, that should still count against the rogue, right? That should that still should count, right? It was an honorable. I, I give. <laughs> Not much you can do there. That is just a lot of damage. Still lots of damage under Merlin. Man, immediately bubble in this. As Inu might be looking for a turtle shell here. Doesn't want to have to give it up if possible. Using every defense if he can. Vein death really quickly. Fear of, Spear of the Eagle just locked up Merlin. Does he have enough damage? Big flank and strike. Kill shot right after. Merlin with one little defensive. That's about all he's got. No health whatsoever. Uh, Inu needs just a one kill shot. Oh, wait. Merlin just popped off. Just walked to the guy and just stundered him my goodness i honestly thought the hunter would have it merlin just walked in last breath in his lungs as he just gave it all one fatty crit is all he needed and he got it that was actually so so good palette is up next as a light for Drenai, wait a second i don't see a lot of light boards for pvp at the very least that was so good chat that was so good the chicago is gonna go rid him in place for just a second wild wings are up it is crusade too so if you can avoid crusade damage you gotta do you gotta avoid crusade compared to normal wings normal wings gives you quite a bit of a damage buff crusade is the biggest haymaker the mother load of damage that ramps up after a while as the paladin spends holy power but the damage is noticeable you are gonna do a ton towards the tail end of that crusade it's just a lot all we needed to do was turtle on that. Oh, good, oh, good, Tyler. You're fine, man. You're fine. Honestly, man. That was so rough. Are the fights from this Game of Thrones? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all good, all good, all good, all good. Paladin trying to see if he can fight through Chicago. Bubble does come out. Does not have a way to heal himself easily. But may need to be looking at that recovery. Chicago is able to avoid him quite handily. Being the Shaman, you have quite a lot of mobility. And as long as you can avoid Paladin any kind of slows. Yeah, he does end up popping. Buna, last one left over for the team one, trying to see if he can get himself a better angle here. Chicago, catching him in an invis immediately, trying to see if he can get himself a poly. It's going to be a bit of a rough one here. To normally, mages do pretty well against shamans, but if the shaman plays super, super carefully, they interrupt the interrupts the range damage. You don't need to get a melee of the guy. You just keep him control. Look at that control you can do against the mage. Buna's trying to see if he can escape this hex to fall. He can't even break it. So you just have to be completely CC for the entire time. I do like the froggy form though. It does look so, so, so good. Isn't there a glyph to get the old frog form? Or is that just like... Is there a glyph for frogs? That's gotta be, right? Buna with a ray trying to see if he can capitalize some damage on Chicago, but does get himself a quick kick. Polly to follow. At the very least, Buna is able to establish CC. Try to go for a freeze on Chicago. But flew right over the uh, ring of fire, ring of fire, ring of frost. Literally, I'm seeing an earth, earthy elemental frozen away over there, and I'm like, ring of fire. <laughs> Great, Dal. You you know your periodic table so well, don't you? Buna, maybe look at an ice block here. Not in a great spot. Lasso, I think it's a block. Yep, it's a block. 30% dampening. Your healing is going to be limited here a bit, even though you're an ice block. It's almost like a warrior hitcher with a mortal strike past the block. You gotta do something. You gotta find an escape here if possible. Does get himself flurry. As long as you got control, I think you'll be in a maybe decent spot. Hex to fall, it does end up locking you down for a moment. For Chicago, they just need a little bit of Maelstrom. Get himself the big lightning bolt. Try to go for the static totem. Does go for the kick. Root onto Buna. I don't know if he can drop it. Does go for the Sunder. Buna trying to see if he can avoid him. Being a shimmer, 
<laughs> that knock on that volley was so good, by the way. He just punted him and doesn't have taken him. There's not much you can do. Like, once a shaman gets, like, a good CC chain on you, it's just golden. For Inu, that should be two kills, by the way. That should be two kills. The amount of damage from Bobble Hunters is absolutely wild, man. Let's get ourselves another one going here, boys. Yeah. Onomasa, onomasa, onomasa. Let me know, Chicago. Let me know, can Derek when you guys are ready. And we'll get another one going. Do, 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 do. Uh, two. There we go. Any spots? Heil. Uh, I'll see. I'll check. Yo, know, if uh, Canaric and Chicago, if you guys need more, um, if you guys need more people, let me know and I can invite. And we got Heil in here. What's up, my man? Hope you're having a good one. Dax? I should probably call you Dax. I feel like Heil is, uh, a little historical. <laughs> I'll call with Dax. Uh, all good. No rush. Great watching it too. Hell yeah, man. Don't forget to get you in. Um, let me know if Freddy. Let me know if Freddy. I also want to see if Chill's around. Dax is better? Yeah, Dax is a little better. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, hmm, could it be taken out of context? And maybe that's just me being a doing YouTube for as long as I have. Like, hmm, context. <laughs> I'm just reading your name, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, what are we do we do? That is the question now. Dalaran sewers. I wanted to lower the run. I wanted to lower the run. Привет, брат, здорово, чамс, здорово, здорово, как дела, друг? Ты играешь на следующей неделе? Будет довольно моя в Европе и Россия на следующей неделе. Пятница, следующей неделе, если хочешь приходить. Сегодня, а не. В следующей неделе, пятница, ию. И... Это... Near ию. I don't even know how to say it in near in Russian. Oh my goodness, do I need to re-Q? Declined? Okay, hold on. Hold up. I'll see if I can re-Q. Nice. Now we're working. Now we're working. Hell yeah. Yeah, if we got any spots, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys... I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we got any. As the night goes on, some people come in, get a couple of games in, and then drop out. Or maybe they switch over and go do other things. So it's totally, totally, totally viable. Like, Parasite popped off out of here earlier, right? Then we don't have Parasite here, but I'm sure maybe he'll pop in a little bit later. And I think it's part of the fun of EU, right? Or, or 5501 Duels, right? While, down, while in your downtime, you get to join and play. Maybe you got your partner coming on for twos or threes, and you're like, ah, I'm gonna go play. And we got a new spot. I do like the fresh blood that we keep getting for these, though. These have been so fun with new people, man. Just seeing more and more of your homies join in pretty regularly. Also, dudes coming back and, like, watching Held Rock play the Marksman has been awesome, man. Is that your main Held Rock? I don't know if you're in chat or not. Is that what you main now, is Marksman? Because I remember you played, like, everything for Hunter. Uh, but I know you played Marksman really, really well. Back in, I think, SL it was, right? Or BFA? So, Twitch. Got ourselves bat. Oh, that's kind of out in the open. Out, in the out of bounds there for a second. Bat Bunny on this team. We got ourselves Paladin also. I like the name. This is good old Paladin. Paladin. You know what? I'm going to put some respect on that name. Paladin. Merlin. It looks like Paladin is going to be first up with Buna also in the back providing the uh, refreshments for the homies. Inu over on this team. We're ready to go, but not going to be next. Got hockey over here on that frost hockey. Is that a good frost paladin? No, oh, what is happening? Heldrog just walked in. Dane maybe looking at a bubble here. Oh no! Bubble it. Oh, trying to catch up in healing, but whatever you can. You guys have a mage. You, you could do a mage food, but against Heldrock, it might be a little tough. Heldrock with a quick faint death, taking quite a bit of damage from a paladin, but oh, the kill shot at the end with a rapid fire. I missed that opener. Merlin charging out. It's gonna be a trap waiting for him. Immediately runs over. He couldn't predict it. He couldn't have predicted it, but Heldrock definitely had it held there. Well, he's gonna try to see if he can get a slow on to Merlin. And that's gonna be an explosive on top of it too. Merlin, if he's careful with a hand of freedom and pony, he could close the gap with Heldrock. You just gotta be very careful with the traps. Trap around the corner. If you're paying attention, you will know that it's not gonna be easy. If you do wanna run over it, you definitely need to consider Hunter's position where he's at. If you do, he is going to go for the charge trap. Death Shocker is in. That's a pretty big defense. You may need to play someone here. Explosive to follow with a stun. Merlin tried to see if he can get himself a ghost. Stun. Does he go for human racial? Bubble. 
That's a lot of damage out of Heldrock with a volley on top of it. Trying to see if he can maybe get himself a better angle. No stun for Heldrock available right now. So Merlin may be limited to what he can do. Just going in for damage while Crusade is active. Heldrock looking to freeze him, chop him in place. Does not have an answer. Sniper is going to do quite a number here. Quite a bit of damage. Merlin trying to see if he can make a play off this one. Shield defendants for this one as well. Barely got any health, but he's just trying to see if he can stay aggressive. And that explosive shot taken of Heldrock immediately diving into a shot. Emil needs a camo. Instantly needs a camo. Unless the rogue. Turtle. Turtle. Yeah, Bad Bunny is not going to let him go anywhere. He is not letting it happen. Nope. Not happening. Heldrock is going to have a hell of a time scatter. Tar trap. Oh, freezing. He doesn't trick it in, right? Do you get a camo? He does get a camo. This way, you need to find the pet. Eyes are up on either side. Pet is dotted or Heldrock is dotted. One of those two. Now it's going to be much harder for Heldrock to escape this. Yeah, the dots are in. Once they're in, Hunter can't do anything about it. Nothing you can do unless you get a heal. It's over. That is so, so rough, man. Ah, oh, man, that's harsh. That's harsh. I was hoping maybe Heldrock would catch himself a camo or something, but no, not happening. Hockey is going to be up next. Frosty Hockey, though. You know what? I can't blame him for not playing Frost. Frost DK needs a buff or something, man. They need to take a second look at it in PvP. It's fine for dungeons and raids, sort of, but like for PvP, it probably did a little bit, just a little bit more work there, yeah? Evasion up for Bad Bunny, just going for the Vanish. Use Dance, I think, on Hockey's earlier. No, not Hockey. Or do you just use Dance on Hockey? Or do you use yours on Hellbrock? I'm not even sure which one. Hockey, though, not doing great health wise. Having to sacrifice his pet. As he did have necrotics either way. Not a lot of health available, man. But just be down for the count right now. Trying to go for a grip. Death strikes. Bad Bunny's just trying to see if he can bleed him out. He just needs a bit more bleeds. And he does take it. If the bleeds encompass the leftover health of whatever target you're attacking. And they're below 10% health. It's over. Yeah, minimum second spec of survival. Hell yeah, Hell Rock. Yeah, 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 dude. You play so well. We barely see survival. Uh, what's survival? Marksman hunters in these. Or we do once in a while, but... Definitely not that often. I think there's one guy on EU that pops in here once in a while. But yeah, that's... I love watching some marksmen. Like, not in specific a marksman, but rather I like watching somebody who's like real, really good at the whatever spec that they main. Right? Somebody watch watching them weave the art that is the spec that they constantly play. That's fun. And you is going to be up next. Fury of the Eagle does get hit with the disarm, but I think you can still Fury of the Eagle if you're disarmed. Into a stun onto Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny just going in for the most amount of damage. Kingsbane, everything is available. Does he go for the death mark? He may just need to. That is explosive. Does go for the death mark last second, but the dots, man, they are going to do a bit of damage. But I don't think, yeah, especially with the manic banner, it's not enough for him to go down at all. Buna trying to go for a poly into a ring of frost, catches the pet. If you get yourself a slow on to Inu, trying to go for movement while polymorphing, do you get yourself a, um, do you get yourself a still shimmer or are you playing the uh, ice flows now? I'm not even sure, honestly. It looked like you were trying to move while casting polymorph at the same time. Man, <laughs> as Inu tried to see if you can avoid it best possible, does go for the Nova. As long as you get yourself a decent CC onto Inu, might be able to make something work. Does get full burst into a rare frost. Do you have that uh, shatter combo? As long as you get the Flurry Raid, yeah, it's going to give you the most amount of damage. Freeze onto Buna. That is Diamond Ice has to drink it out of it. No way damage is going to be able to break it, which gives Inyo almost like a guaranteed stun, like a Cyclone-esque version of Trap. Does go for the Biting Shot as Buna charging in. Ice Block, it gives Inyo an opportunity to release him cover a bit of health. Manic better just letting him catch up a little while the pet is going to blast it by the Water Alley, but it's barely doing anything. Not at this point. Stun from a distance. Buna trying to see if he can stay aggressive here. Actually, Inu is just going to walk right in into an interrupt onto that frost bomb. Might have enough damage here. It's a big dead chakram. Buna is able to reverse a little bit of the damage. Still got Alter. May need to use Alter here ahead of time. Uh, no, 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 no. Your health. Oh, he got himself a shield. I don't know how you live this. Ice block. Hold on a second. Does get the frost bomb onto Inyo and Buna looking for the recovery. This mage is so aggressive. He's looking for the kill. He's trying to see if he can end it. Brad doesn't quite connect. Trying to see if he can reach him. He's actually just in line of sight. Barely in LOS. Got him some full ray. Is this enough right now? The grenade thrown in. Last spike almost did it, but that's going to be certified walking in. Shadow more death of the guy down. Oh my goodness. He was so close too. Oh man. Is it going to be speed? Is it going to be Chicago up next? Maybe, possibly. I like your mog. The, the, the tabard, the mask, and the, uh, well, the entire ensemble, really. And that's Mongoose, right? The enchant. Pretty sure. Is it Chicago? Maybe Chicago's waiting for speed? 
trying to figure out who's gonna be first, who's gonna be next. Certified immediately gets interrupted. As a Shadow Prince versus Enhancement Shaman, there's only so much you can really do in this situation. I think it's gonna be a little bit hard for Certified here, unless he just plays a hell of a game. Chicago, I think, may have an advantage in this one. Try to get himself close enough in order to get one of these Void Bolts to connect with Chicago. If you can get a, anybody in melee close enough where these Void Bolts do work, I mean, you might be fun. Chicago, try to see if he can go, go for a bit of a gripper on to Certified, wasn't able to with that totem. Certified actually able to get a proper stun on Chicago though, maybe can set something up off of this one. He's gotta be very careful with his cast. Quick fear on Chicago with the mind games to follow. This way could get kind of aggressive. Chicago trying to see if he can do some damage, a little heal, but it's gonna take some damage. He does some some Guardian, is gonna activate it for Certified. He's gonna have a hard time fighting through the healing that a Shaman is able to put up. As long as you're doing damage, Chicago plenty of self healing. Certified, as long as he doesn't get interrupted on Shadow, he might be okay. He does go for Disperse. He has Stun as well as a Fear and a Silence coming up very, very soon. If he can get either one of those things onto Chicago in a combo, he could potentially make something happen. Lasso, you're so low. You need something for this one. Leaping in. Oh my goodness, the leap and the final crash at the end. That was well done. Well done. One of my boys has got another one going, yeah? He's gonna get uh, some more folks. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. So with Tyler Outski, we got a plus one spot. Who knew, who's the one that had Tyler on the team? Is it Canaric or Chicago? One of the boys is gonna have to invite me then. Whichever one, whichever one lost. Uh, which one were you, Ty? Were you in you? Was that you? Or were you another guy? I'm so bad with names, so I do apologize if I messed up. Uh, Canaric, I think it's Chicago, right? Then needs a plus one. Yeah, Chicago needs a plus one. Um, who else can I invite for a plus one? Ampix? Got five? Beautiful. Hell yeah. We gotta put you guys into a... Dalaran Sewers, I guess? Send you guys into the Sewers Canal. Easy для охотника, да. Для охотника какие-то матчи, они... Or matchups. Они чуть-чуть... Easy. Не все, не все, какие это, не все. Uh, Raids Legacy, Molten Core Duels, right? Yep. Yep. Under Molten Core. Hosting them right now. Yeah, Trinity, we're hosting them. Uh, it's, there's a good chance Trinity is EU, though. For all we know. Uh, 6.30, what is it, 5? Man. Turning through these fairly quickly, boys, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah uh dax if you, are you in for these you are blade class no we got blade class dax we had a spot for a second i should have said something man oh no i should have said something uh i yeah pop into the stream that's like the easiest way to find out if there's an opening it's just be in here so twitch Tried to list, but someone came up quicker. All good, all good, man. All good. Happens. Bad Bunny over for the team one. Ready to go. Boone are going to be first up versus Hockey on the Hockey Shadow. I like that set. That is that sepsis quality cosplay in here. Bull bleeds are up to Boone. A mania and a nice ball. Oh, my goodness. The amount of that damage. It just ramps. Out of nowhere, he's not even touching them. And Buddha's health is being dropped like he's getting chaos bolted by at least three warlocks in a row. My goodness. Oh, full warlock firing squad, just chaos bolt one, chaos bolt two. Get a third one in there, right? The third one's like the proc one. My god, this is rogues, man. This is rogues. Trying to see if you can fight the Merlin. Merlin bubbling this up, but doesn't go for crusade just yet. For hockeys, he does end up investing in cloak of shadows and. I'm a little bit weirded out when you guys do shadow step to a guy that you're not dueling. I get why you do it. I don't like it. Wait, that oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, Merlin against a dot on hockey is too. Jesus, the dot gameplay from these boys is ludicrous. Blade Clasp is gonna be up next, charging in, just absolutely rampaging through Merlin. Maybe looking at a blessing of protection here. May need one. Trying to use wings as well as whatever healing recovery you can. Bop is up, but does Blade Clasp have an answer? He has a leap. 
He has a way to move around. Look at this dwarf go, man. Look at it. Actually looks so good. Trying to go for a fear. Parry up. It's going to be a uh, dwarf original. Trying to use everything he can just to live. Quick rallying cry to give him a bit of extra health. Stun into Merlin. May have it here. Unless Merlin got a stun. Merlin barely got a heal. Reflect up. Don't reflect the stun. And you'll be okay. You need a hodge right now. Unless... Oh, he does get the hodge. He does get the kill. Oh, Merlin does need a bit of recovery. There's no shot, right? But Chicago, I don't think he's going to give him any heals. Unless Chicago is okay with Merlin getting heals from like Certified and Paladin. Or Palladia. Uh, Palladia. Palladia. Pal, pal, what's the name? Palladian. Palladian. Yeah. I mean, Chicago is cool with it. Certified. You could help out with heals. Yeah, if he's waiting for him to get like a full recovery. Yeah, yeah perfectly cool. Because he's got a what? He can heal himself once every six seconds. It's instant, but like once every six. It's going to take forever. Does get him dotted. Does get him zapped and blasted. Boarding him out. Palladian. Uh, I'm going to mess up your name so hard. I feel like with Merlin just... Did Merlin just like... <laughs> I think Merlin was just like, you know what? I'm a willing sacrifice at this point. I'm cool with it. I played my I played my do. I'm okay with it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight against it. I did everything I needed to. <laughs> Might have been it, man. Big and Venom too with the rogue. Oh yeah, 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 man. That's true, that's true. Pale Paladin. Paladin. I have so hard to say a name. I'm gonna call Paladin. Okay, Paladin. Or something like that. Oh, just pop. I'll call you Balloon now instead. Oh, that sounds rude, actually. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Stun on Chicago. Bad Bunny loading him up. Full death mark and everything is available. But Chicago does not have a defensive for this one. It's just over. Everybody's just going down within seconds of each other. Is it going to be speed up next? Or is it held rock next? I think they're kind of looking at one another. Trying to give him a chance here? Possibly Bad Bunny just sitting down for some food. Sort if I walk it up as if he wants to square up, I think. I don't know. Dude, everybody's just melting. Everybody's popping. Lordy. Paladin. 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 Man, Paladin can work, right? Paladin. Because I'm trying to get your name right. I'm trying to get it right. You know what it kind of reminds me of? In like a... Not in a literal way. Dame Aelin from BG3. And like, that's a respectable character. So I'm like, Paladin. I'm trying to get it right, man. I'm trying to. Dane, Dane would work too. Dane would work just fine. Sap out by speed. Bad Bunny does pick up the eye, but speed zooms in. Does go for the trinket. Cheap shot into Bad Bunny. He's got himself evasion, but the lockdowns on stuns make that evasion do barely nothing. Does go for the cheap shot onto speed. Trying to see if he can get himself a big go. I think that is a full dance. King's Bane and everything available. Speed is under a ton of pressure. He doesn't have a cloak anymore. Hold on a second. Speed might be in a ton of trouble. Got himself a sippy cup with an evasion to fall. At least avoiding some of the damage from Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny does go for a quick vanish. Speed with the vanish as well. But I think speed is still melting. Shadow Strike onto Bad Bunny. Landing the kinder shot. Cheat Death is your only savior right now. Cheat Death just denied. Game. Are you kidding me? Blizzard. The rogue spec into a cheat death, and if you if he dies and you just don't give him a cheat death, like what's the point of cheat death? What is the point? We've seen this happen way too many times on five five one duels, where a rogue is like just fine, kind of sorta. Oh, he gets locked down. Okay, he has a cheat death. It should save him, right? It should give him like a little bit of health and a dr, and it's just gone. It just erased. It just gone. It disappears. Certified still trying to see if he can get some damage onto speed. He is getting some damage around the corner. With that void, uh, what is it called? Void, I forget what's it called. The the back and forth ability. <laughs> I don't have a good name for it. Speed might actually just be dead here. Hold on, he's trying to see if he can live it. Hold on a moment. Gouge? Oh, he's barely alive. He does get himself a little sippy. He's still dotted. Looks like he's still rotted. And the certified can get that void. What's it called, chat? It's not Halo, it's the other ability. I forget. I actually forget, shoot, I was going to say, maybe Shadow Crash hits him, but not quite. So close, though. So, so, so close. And certified, man, the road got to escape. 7% cheat death HP. Divine Star, that's the one. Yeah, Divine Star. Dark Star? It is Dark Star. Well, it's Dark Star, I think, if you go to... I think if you become a Shadow Disc Priest? Yeah, Divine Star. Divine Star. Yeah, Divine Star. It is the one. I think it does become a Dark Star when you're a Shadow Priest and you hit Mind Blast. Or... Get your siphon up because it used to be like a a thing with shadow covenant but they tied it into mind shadow fiend i'm messing up my pets too as well but yeah divine star that is actually really good because if you can get it going from one side 
Ooh, Shadow Crash almost connects. But if you can get Divine Star going out and then you juke out to the other side of the box, it'll go like through the boxes, and maybe connect with the rogue. It does decent damage when it does connect. Cheap shots back to back and certified. Oh, I think it's over. Oh, he barely lived. Fear. He tried to fear, but the cloak by the rogue. He knew it. Oh, man. Wow. That was a quick game, just in terms of just the amount of raw birds that everybody got that time around. My goodness. Holy. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, let me get this saved real quick. Uh, and we'll get another one going here in just a moment, boys. Chat, I got a BRB for just two seconds. I'll be right back. Maybe like a minute. Relax so hard against Chicago. All good, all good, all good. Chicago? Generic, if you guys need more bodies, let me know. Uh, I need to BRB for like a minute here, boys, okay? So enjoy the chair stream. Enjoy the music for a second. BRB real quick.
We're back. Okay, how are we doing groups wise, boys? Uh, double check, double check. Uh, any more? Uh, R. Hey, how's it going? Wow, what a good streamer, Dal. Wow, five beautiful. Alrighty, boys, we got one more spot. I think is needed. Last one, all good, friend. All good. Uh, invite. We get need one more, boys. We need Uramas. One more and toss me that invite. Whoa, what are you doing over here? What are you doing over here, Valer? You're a little bit far from home, friend. Alrighty, let's get another one going, boys. Oh. Groups and listen, boys! You'll find us over in the raids and legacy section under Molten Core. As per usual, we need Uno Mas, so we'll be good to go. Did I save the last one? Uh, I did now. Even if I didn't before, I did now. Beautiful. Reverence? Oh, my boy! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Yo, you guys have seen a, uh, a legend. I was gonna say in the making, but he's already made it, honestly. We got the boy. Alrighty, now we're good to go. Hopefully, Reverence will actually get a chance to play. Uh, we're gonna do Tiger's Peak, I think it is. We did Down Service, we did the Lord Run, we did Nagrand. We might go back and do another Nagrand before we do another Blade's Edge, or at least a Blade's Edge in general. But hell yeah. Oh, Dax! Dax! Oh, you're in. Okay, beautiful. Hell yeah. I was gonna say for a moment, like, wait, did I make a mistake or what? What is happening, bud? Alrighty, we're back in, boys. Box share stream. Exactly, exactly. I really do gotta get myself some kind of like a hey Dow will be right back screen or something, right? There's gotta be something, dude. Maybe I could do maybe I can maybe I can think of like a BRB screen or whatever. I'll I'll think of something. Uh, if I could find something funny, then maybe. <laughs> maybe I should replace somebody like to put a model in the chair instead and just maybe pop up a chat bubble like hey Dow will be back very very soon and just have it pop up every like few 30 every 20 seconds or so. Hey, hey, that will be back soon. Hang tight, grab snacks. That will be back. Maybe we'll write some jokes in there or whatever. Right? <laughs> Throw some dad jokes here right there. The Twitch, Pepe Holden be a reset. Oh, that'd be so cool, actually. I think it's totally doable. We got us this reverence gonna be first up or for the team one with an immediate reflect out of blade clasp as you just charge it in. I like this whole Mog Tabard combo, by the way. It is gonna get singed up though with a big old bolt as reverence immediately starting off strong. Mortar coil sent in. Blade clasp at this point. He's tired of all of this control by these warlocks. It is gonna pop a trinket and just get in there. Leaping in onto Reverence quick. Stunner as Reverence, I think, is trying to set up a sucky bit CC. Kazmo might just do him in Bonzafell. It's over. Oh, ho, 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 my. What was that flag? I don't know if he needed that. I think that was a little much, Reverence. I think he did really good. That was a little rude, honestly. As Heldrock trying to see if he can set up onto Reverence. He knows it's going to be Succubus. He's max ranging it. He's range maxing right now. Big explosive. He should still be able to catch you. You got yourself lined aside, but he's right next to you. He still sees you. Mad damage. Hold on. Oh, Heldrock took him out so fast. Bad Bunny instantly charging out on Heldrock. Got him corroded. Hellrock at the very least is going to be able to get a pet. Rapid fire as Bad Bunny tried to veer behind the pillar. That was so much damage out of this hunter, man. It is crazy. And this is after all the uh, armor buffs they gave to classic classes, except for Warlocks. Warlocks didn't get one, but they still already had a good armor to begin with. Fang Death for Hellrock for a second. He is getting dotted up. Trying to see if he can descend it from Bad Bunny. That is a cloak of shadows. He got himself full dots on him. Hellrock can remove these dots easily. But he does have Flare. Should be able to see Bad Bunny constantly, though. Scatter for a second. He just needs to live a little bit longer here. He may need like a Fang Death. He doesn't have a lot of health to work with. He might just die. Bad Bunny just needs to load him up full of dots, and there's nothing he could do. Man. <laughs> what has just happened? It's just a hunter, man. Just a hunter press some cooldowns. It is a lot of damage, though. Marksman hunters do have a lot of burst. Drags charging in. What is this mog? It's like a Missile Pandaria set, isn't it? Actually looks kind of cool. Bounty does go in for a sap, but doesn't want to engage him just yet. Dax charging up, picking up the eye. He actually should be able to see a Bad Bunny. If he's careful. I don't know if he was trying to charge. He's trying to see if he can maybe Bad Bunny's be around this side of the uh, pillar. He doesn't realize he's on the opposite side instead. 
Does he see him? He does get a charge, does get a stone opener. Maybe that's something you could work with. Big bleed on top of it into an immediate disarm right after. Big damage on the bat bunny off the bat as Dax absolutely just unleashing everything. Does he have a leap? I think he's used leap earlier. He is dotted up though. Quite a bit of damage with us. Uh oh. Uh oh, that leap did not have him go nearly as quickly or nearly as far as he wanted to. He is dotted. Hold on. Are you, are you just going to die? Hold on a second. Is Dax just going to bleed? He was about to. In Rage Regen, that's the only thing keeping him alive. Bad Bunny maybe could have just stayed away. Hold on. Bad Bunny could have just maybe just stayed away. Holy. Hold on a second. The Rogue is not out of the woods just yet. Dax may be able to lock him down. Blind is available for the Rogue. Kidna Shot, Super Super DR. Do just stay in with the dots or you do disconnect with the Blind. You may need to disconnect. Trying to get those dots in. Dax with a massive eviscerate. Rooting out the Rogue. Got himself a leap. Actually super low in health. Leaping back in. Oh, but the dots do take him. My goodness. Oh. Hockey charging in next with a Phantom Nice Bad Bunny backing up out of there for Hockey. He's got to find this rogue. Take him out very, very quickly. And Bale, Bad Bunny goes in towards the back of the arena. Does he have uh, food from Buna? Buna may need to drop him food though. May need to drop him food to make this a little bit more helpful. It is going to be Hockey's going for a nappy. Just got himself a nice little look at that. He uh, looks uh, kind of comfy. I mean, he's like, literally on a cold floor in a Kunlai Summit, but man, he looks cozy either way. I imagine that Rogue Gear from MC is probably keeping him warm. I imagine that has some natural warming properties. Got himself a kidney shot. Took it out of hockey with the clicker shot. It's chasing after Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny not sending in cooldowns. Neither is hockey's. They're trying to catch one another. Now that neither of them has a trinket, Bad Bunny could potentially make something happen here. Does he have a kidney shot? Cheap shot. Trying to go for dots. That's going to be disarmed immediately. Does get himself dance. Hold on. Maybe King's Bane and everything. He's trying to see if he can live it. Hockey does not have a clicker shot. Is here. Do you just go for death mark? He's got evasion. Maybe Shadow Step death mark him really quickly. Is that a thing? Oh, no, no, no. I think Hockey may be able to get the good opener. Kidney, death mark. He's trying to see if he can reverse it on you. Also try to go for full death mark. Hockey taking quite a bit of damage though. So is Bad Bunny. Either one could be down here. Vanish out of Hockey for a second. Bad Bunny Riga rotor yet again. Try to go for a gouge. I think Hockey does take it. Not completely out of the woods though. But he does end up taking it. Next up, it's either going to be Merlin. We got ourselves Dane as well available and ready to go. Charging out is going to get on top of hockey before the road catches a quick reset. Does not have a cloak of shadows. Has himself poison, so at least build some damage. But Dane may just take you. Hold on. One good hammer and it's over. Hockey does have a cheat death. Trying to see if he can avoid giving that up just yet. Got himself sprint. That's going to be plenty of mobility. Able to stay afloat and ahead of Dane as best as possible. And I think it's going to be a reset. Eyes are available for at least one side. And Dane is mousing over over there. For hockey, he does have shadow dance. He doesn't have death mark for a bit. But maybe he could do some kind of like a dance combo. And get some cooldowns on a Dane. And if you have sprint, bail behind the pillar. Maybe that'll be useful here. But yeah. <laughs> cheesy i mean man it is just a lot of damage though <laughs> either way rev either way cheap shout out to dane as hockey trying to see if he gets some damage going on to dane dance is available that's full sepsis king's Bane, everything hold on dane maybe you're looking at a bubble here that is definitely going to be a bubble unless he doesn't press it disarm for a second cheat down on the hockey dane do you just press a button hold on a second oh you gotta press a button you gotta press a bubble you got dots but if you have below 10 percent health you are gonna die instantly even if you're like, you know, these dots are very, very little. I got flashy heal coming up. No, press a button. Press a button. He said, I guess he probably was trying to be like, you know what? He didn't press death mark. I might be okay. Because normally you want to save cooldowns for death mark. Dance and King's Bane and Sepsis all by themselves can be just as deadly. Full freeze onto Hawk. He has himself a quick look of shadows just to get out of there. Buna dropping down a... Uh, blizzard around the corner ring of frost as well try to keep some damage out to hockey i think but just have them yeah yeah there's no well well battle must trick out of hockey maybe glacial is big damage i think it's over vanish i am kind of surprised he's still alive you don't have cheat death either eyes are up for at least far side i don't know if buna wants to go grab him because hockey's at no health hold on if hockey just walks through this blizzard if you just sneeze at hockey just lightly it's over for him cheap shot insta block oh that's what i meant if you just sneeze in his direction a little too hard he will fall over that man had zero health 
My goodness, Chicago charging out over a Buna. Got himself a couple of, a couple of purges here and there. Buna with the Nevis trying to see if he can avoid Chicago best as possible. Looking to set up some kind of a go. Sound to follow. Trying to see maybe if he can live this. Got himself at least one more ice block. So you got a big defensive. You got a big immunity. As long as Chicago doesn't sneak up with damage on you out of nowhere, you might just have it. And actually able to keep Chicago at bay, at least it allowed to him for a little bit there. Ray of Frost does get interrupted. As long as you don't get kicked on Frost, you will be all right. That is being said, as long as you're very, very careful with your Frost cast. Trying to go for instance, if it's going to be, I think Chicago may be taking it. No, Ice Block really, really quickly does give Chicago a breather to catch a couple of heals. The Buna looking for a recovery. Got images. Cooldowns are kind of down. Maybe Ultra, that could be kind of useful, possibly. But I think maybe Chicago takes it, does go for a quick kick, Buna with an altar. Chicago looking to purge it if possible. No, it doesn't get to, but he's waiting for him. He's waiting for him. He knows he's going to purge. Yeah, he's not, he knows he's going to reset. Into a poly, Trinket's out of it. Trinket is going to be a little bold. Into a freeze on the Chicago. Maybe Buna can make something off of this. Try to go for Glacial. I think it's over, right? One loud, one la lightning bolt. Nope. Well, nope. Lightning bolt. If you just purge the shield, it's just a lightning bolt away. Try to deal with the pets as best as you can. Oh, yeah. Alien Blast. Don't even a purge. Man, that's rough. With Merlin, last one left over for the team one. Immediately hit with a lasso with Chicago. He's got himself full Crusader already. Bubble available for Chicago. It's going to be down to if you have Burrow, if you have Wall as well as Guardian, and just go for a heal. You might be able to live it. Trying to use mobility stun. Nothing he can do. Not, can't knock Merlin back. Merlin just committing full offensive pressure right now. He doesn't care. He's just going to come uh, Crusader, bubble it, he's good to go, burrow down for Chicago. Able to knock Merlin for a second. If you can keep it at bay with Roots or maybe even a static total, maybe it'll give you a bit of survivability. We just got to live the Crusade. You just got to live Crusade and you'll be okay. If you can live that, you'll be fine. Root into Merlin, I don't think he has a hand freedom. And Chicago looking to get himself a little bit of healing, trying to reduce some of the damage from Merlin. Controlling the battle as best as they can. Totem down, he heals available. Merlin got himself shield of end, it's better use it as soon as possible. But at this point, it's really up to Chicago. Got himself nice straight away to take down Merlin. Nothing he could really do in this situation. Does it up, finish it off. Towards the tail and well done, well done. Bat Bunny with two, Hockey with two, Chicago with two, and Buna, Heldrock, Rev. Heldrock and Rev Bo just blasted the first, first guy that they saw. Nutty, man. Nutty. Let's get us just another one going, boys. Yeah. Unamas, Unamas. Well, keep missing me, lol. I want to go back to Wrath. I mean, if you want to, Rev, if you want to. Yeah. You, you, you're not being held hostage here, man. If you want to go back, play Wrath, man, more than welcome to him. Feel free. You're a free bird, my guy. Free bird. Do we need more? Ready? Okay, cool. Uh, ready? Beautiful. We'll just send in, send another one. We'll go in the grand. Won't do Blade's Edge or anything like that yet. We'll do in the grand. Leave Blade's Edge for a little bit later. Five Alley over Razor Hill? Nah, we're gonna stay here. First time I tried new build in Arena. Quite happy uh, with it. Just hope next time I'm not, I guess, someone who can throw my CDs out of the window. True, true. I did see some of the damage you were doing at the very beginning. It looked kind of nutty. I want to see exactly what you were trying to do. I'll keep watch and are you sure Bristmaster can make a uh, guest appearance? It'll be fun, lol. Uh, if you... A one shot, I'm not... Yeah, I don't know if Brew is playable in PvP, but if the guy got a one shot, I'm cool with it. Yo, you still have phase three launch in the screen, by the way. Oh, do I? <laughs> I do, don't I? Wow. Uh, is it this one? Thank you. See what I appreciate you, my man. Yeah, I didn't even realize that from yesterday, I guess. Crazy. How you doing, by the way, my guy? Yeah, I didn't even realize. Uh, I think I saved it. I'm not even sure. I think I did. Good twitch. I right. Good twitch. There we go. I think I attempted to just fight. I don't see work. Bad Bunny over for the team. One immediately rushing out versus a Blade class. First one trying to see if you can bleed him up. Blade class immediately taking damage just from a uh, Sepsis? Kingsbane? Is, what is that? It's dance and something. Dance and you just threw every dot into the dance. That's a lot of damage. Blade class might be in a lot of trouble. Parry's up. Got himself a little bit extra health. He's trying to deny his health dropping below 10% health. 
That's all he's trying to do. Another blade stone to follow. Bad Bunny does have evasion, so he's able to avoid a good portion of his damage. And Blade Cross by actually picking up a little bit of health from this Bad Bunny. Not in a great spot. Bleed does connect. Hold on, Bad Bunny might just die. Cloak of Shadows. He sees one good hit. Stuns him. Trinket. Kidney. He got a full death mark. Is this enough right now? Blade needs just one more good hit. Does he do it? Executes. Is that going to be enough? That's going to be Bad Bunny backing up out of the blade. Oh, I think it's over. Oh, no. Who's so close? Oh, if only he had like a leap or something, scatter on the blind, and Hellrock is gonna pfft, bad bunny just bailing. He's like, nope, I'm done. I don't want to fight this hunter. <laughs> he just unleashed a full rapid fire to the guy, but no, he doesn't want to fight him. First minute into the match, bad bunny goes in, slaughters a warrior in the arena, bails, vanishes out like a thief in the night. Just steals the man's health bar. <laughs> Buna is gonna be up next. Freezing trap, waiting around the corner. Buna is careful. As long as you're careful, if you memorize, if you saw him throw a freezing trap, you may know it's right there, because you might just... You're so close to it, you might walk into it. Oh no, if you go forward... Okay. It is invis. Held Rock is just gonna try to see if it can camo you out. Picking up the eye. Sniper shot. Should see him. Breath. Oh, you're so close for breath. Actually, might just want to do it. Brad does connect, got himself a little bit of an altar. As long as Hellbrock does not remove the altar, he might be okay. Explosive, does Buna still have altar? That's still a lot of damage. Do you have altar? I think he purged your altar. You main your block. Yeah, I was gonna say, he purged your altar, dude. See, Mark, are you seeing this? The altar purges, man. That's what happened last time from other, from, uh, other mages, man. What is this? The luck out of all the buffs to purge. He has a shield, he has all the other things, and just oh, purge his altar. Rapid fire right now for Held. Does get himself full cooldowns. Buna, not much you can do. Kill shot away. And Held is going to be able to barrage him down with just a volley of arrows streaming from the sky. Looking for a bit of an escape. Trying to figure out who's going to be next. Cooldowns rolling in. But he really does need himself like a quick... Is it Dane? No, it's not Dane. He saw somebody moving and thought maybe Dane. It is going to be Reverence instead as a Destro Warlock setting up a port gate. Everything, man. My goodness. Hellrock looking for an escape with a camo. Brother can take the L. Are you talking about uh, Bad Bunny bailing out of there? You know what? I feel like... Ah, man. I... 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 I I don't I, I do like it when you guys just like finish out a duel even if it's like you know what I don't think I can win but like I'll give it the best shot I got I do understand why some people bow out because it's like yeah there's no way I can win this yeah it's literally not in a great great uh not in my advantage right now at all I can totally understand it oh that's a lot of damage onto Reverence Hellrock does get CC but look at Reverence's health he's charging in Mortal Call sent in Hellrock trinkets out of it Chaos Bolt locked out trying to see if he can go for Explosive that's gonna be reflected for Reverence got himself that range aim shot got himself quite a bit of damage rapid fire around the corner he got himself the portals unleash and all the chaos Reverence hoping to maybe stabilize a little bit here got a succubus hanging around the other side might be able to catch Hellrock dropping an Infernal Hellrock is gonna be a little bit too hot for comfort back there behind the pillar he needs a big old scatter succubus is gonna catch you death shark is in chaos bolt standing in unless he's got something for this in shadow fury oh i think it's over faint death oh that's such a clutch faint death turtle but he's still burning oh no 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 held rock needs an answer he needs a way out of here can he go for faint death i think the pet is dotted sniper he's trying to go for the range shot oh no reverence charge at him with a quick shot of burn i think at the end that was actually, I think, the play. Sniper shot, I think, was the right play. If you can get far enough away, go for a sniper shot where Evans can back up but can go forward because he does give you a little bit extra range to a sniper. If you can get it off quick enough, that might be enough damage. At least gives you a range to go for rapid fire. Mordecai sent in immediately. Reverence with the reflect. He, unless you can do Succubus CC to control Chicago here, Reverence is under a ton of pressure. Wall is up. Dark Pact as well. He got a Warlike Hellstorm by the looks of it. May not have it though. It looks like it's up on cooldowns, but he may actually not have access to it right now. But I'm not sure. That already he's saving it for later. 21% dampening. You definitely want to use it whenever you get a chance. He's trying to see if he can buy himself a little bit extra time here behind the pillar of Chicago. Charging at him. Does get a full root. Succubus maybe catches him. Does catch him. Trinket to follow reference. Does go down. There's not much you can do in that situation. That is a tough one. Imagine if you'd win. That is the advantage. It'd be sick. True. Those are the moments that I do love to see. Not gonna lie, Dane is gonna be up next versus Chicago, goes in for judgments that remove dots, is that what you got? Judgment that removes magic effects? That may help you, I guess, roots and stuff, like if you just hit the totem, but if you got flame shock, that's definitely gonna hurt you, that's gonna be a lot of knockups for you to deal with, at least one of those magic effects is gonna be uh, 
knocking you up in the air and actually doing quite a bit of damage they made sure to juice that thing up that totem dispel they flame check dispel juice up quite a bit dane trying to see if he can survive this bubble is available maybe looking at a bubble right now trying to keep the health afloat as best as they can into a battle match stricken shield of vengeance as well that is going to be a totem eroding him in place yet again trying to go for heals not playing the instant cast flash shield so could maybe recover a bit of health maybe looking at the bubble here right now try not to give it oh bubble yeah last ditch effort bubble i do love seeing it at least maybe yeah flash heal that's about all you got 29 percent the empathy is going to make it a little bit harder but that's about the best move you got gets kicked into a judgment that respells the flame shock and does knock you sky high up in the air that's going to be chicago knocking back merlin as he goes in for full crusader right after him into a full right I don't know if you need to bubble that. I think Hand of Freedom honestly would have done the work too. But this is the part of the bubble what Merlin likes to do. Just likes to go in all in on these. With a full on bubble off of a crusade. Just to make sure nothing can stop him. Chicago just looking to avoid this as best as possible. With the Paladin burning his immunity as well as a uh, wings that early. If you don't got the Hand of Freedom. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be kind of rough. Chicago, are you playing the uh, Lightning build? You are playing the Elementalist build. So you got a lot of sustained damage as well. Big blast to follow a bubble, a blind by Merlin. Does he have a? Sometimes we could go for. A, I was gonna say blind into a searing, glare. No searing, something searing. It's an honor talent. That's all I remember. It's a PvP talent. Should I go with three? I actually picked up three. I didn't even realize. Oh, slapping paladins down. Well done. What was it? Searing glare. I think it's called. I think it's searing glare. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm confusing it with another ability altogether. But that's a good combo. Blind and then blind him again so their attacks miss afterwards. Makes that are harder for the enemy to go counter or effective. Let's do another one. Uh, let me know when you guys are ready. If you guys got five or if you're looking for more and I can join you. Help you get a couple extra bodies in here. We're going through these duels real quickly. Uh, Chicago is difficult AF. Oh yeah, definitely not easy. Chicago's been around the block a couple of times. Um, What is it doing? And then Okay. Alright, and we also gotta do this and list this real quickly. If you guys want to join us, more than welcome to. Groups are gonna be listed as always in the molten core section. Reckon bit enhanced, that's another one. Is it that hard of a counter? Oh, hey, 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 how you doing, my guy? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Alrighty, so we are set with this group. Chicago, let me know if you are ready. I don't know if you whispered me earlier or is that just now? Uh, let's just save this real quick. 40? Yeah, 40. Here we go. Red can, super hard. Yeah, some classes are a hard counter for one another, though. Not, I don't think they're, is it that, is it that hard of a counter, like super rock, paper, scissors? I know that in earlier expansions, some matchups were very much a rock, paper, scissors. Like it was almost impossible to beat your counter. But then it's like the counter wasn't nearly as seen in like twos and threes because you had a team play involved in there, right? Or fives, I guess, BGs or whatever. It's not a hard counter. Yet. Yeah, I think nowadays no class is really a hard counter. To that degree, there's like a chance that you can make it, but you definitely do have some matchups that are advantageous and disadvantageous. Definitely. From Shamans makes it hard. Yeah. Yeah, Paladin versus Shaman, definitely not an easy in 1v1 specifically. Yeah, I don't think the game is, has a bit like this, like super, 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 where it's mage still is. Like a hard counter. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, there's, 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 a, there's levels to it. Used to be completely like, there's just no shot, don't even attempt it, right? In a one v one, don't even attempt it unless you got some kind of like an advantage or some way to swing the battle a bit in your favor. Yeah. Also, Undasta. I really gotta go back and get Undasta. That one looks so good. That is Undasta, right? Pretty sure. I think. Either Undasta or you can get one of these from Zandalari. I don't even remember. Uh, as soon as Chicago is ready, we'll be good to go. Do you need more? Are you looking for extra, or are we chilling? Let me know if I am. Uh, most of the times, Warrior Mage is horrid. Yeah, I'm terrible. I think you're just fine, man. I should have been a lock. It's a tough matchup, man. Tough matchup. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of control. Arcane versus any melee without a Pergus terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Is it purg? Is it like purge? Or is it uh purg, purg, purg? I was thinking prep. Um, not prep. Um, what is it? Purg. I'll, I'll get it confused for a second with purge. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's speed right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking for some reason, um, what's that one caster thing you do, right? When you juke a kick. Not pre-med. It's, a uh, God, why am I drawing a blank with this one so badly? I don't remember. I'm just gonna give up. Chat will correct me. Precog, yeah, precog, precog. Precast, not precog. Precognition. It's like a embellishment thing that they it used to be a PvP talent. Now it's just an embellishment in gear. When you juke a kick, you get like an immunity to kicks, but also CC for a few seconds. It used to give you a haze buff too, and they used to like used to basically juke a kick and then go for full burst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, beautiful. We'll make Bad Bunny lead, and we'll send you guys in for another one. We'll do a. Do we go back to hook point? <laughs> I don't want to do Blade's Edge if I can help it. I feel like Blade's Edge is way too one-sided for some classes. So, we'll just do other arenas besides that. The Grand is fine, Rook I think is fine, Hook is fine, Dalaran Tubers is fine. We'll just avoid Blade's Edge. Maybe we'll do Blade's Edge as the last one for the night or something. Possibly. Precog. I feel like I'm the resident PvP hater who knows a bit too much about PvP for someone that hates it. I mean, I, hey, if, if, if you get the knowledge from the stream and what we usually do here in Duels, Hey, at least it says, tells me that at least we got knowledge. At least you're learning something, right? But yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually like that you can do precog and gear. I wonder how they're going to do it in the... Um, I wonder if they should have just done it as like an enchant, right? You just buy an enchant for precog and that embellishes an item. Just something to make crafting and like buffing up pieces of gear easier, right? You can get like a vanishing powder to remove embellishments. Otherwise, you can have like inscriptionists make it. Because what do inscriptionists even do right now? I think that'd be cool. I mean, because enchanters make enchants, but inscriptionists, that'd be cool if they could make those, right? That'd be kind of lucrative. Which, which? Haven't you started? Yeah, so that's SL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Got ourselves Austin over for the team one raid to go. It's like a mix of mixed bag of stuff you got going on. Literally a bag of bag here as well. Got ourselves Bad Bunny, Buna, Merlin, and Dane. Who's gonna be first up? Also, I like this mount a lot. I don't have it, but it looks pretty. This thing flies. This bear literally can fly. I don't know what how I feel about that. I feel like. A flying bear. I think it was the first flying bear they added in the game too, isn't it? Gonna be a quick uh, grip over by Chicago. It's still so weird that Shaman's got a little grip, but it's gonna try to see if it can yoink Merlin over. Just trying to evade that crusade as best as possible. Wait, and then that was Heldrock getting ready to go or something. Just trying to give himself a better angle, maybe, potentially. Got ourselves on that team. We got a blade class. We got ourselves Dax. We got ourselves hockey as well. Since Chicago is literally avoiding Merlin while the cooldowns are up. And that's going to be immediate shield defendants. Merlin used the bubble at some point too. No human racial available. Locking down Chicago for quite a bit of damage either way though. And as long as Chicago got some kind of way to heal themselves, they might be okay. Quick blind on all these pets. Chicago trying to see if he can set up some kind of a go. Merlin's health not doing amazing. Blessing of protection won't really do much for you at this point. I mean... Yeah, it does nothing. It's just lightning bolts, lava lashes, everything goes right through that physical defensive. Unless you got spell warden, that's really about all you can do. But Chicago, even then, this still got plenty of physical damage. Those storm strikes are not a joke. Bad Bunny charging right after Garot and Chicago, who has a trinket, who got a quick sunder onto Bad Bunny, maybe with a root around the corner. I think tried to go for a root around the corner. It didn't work. Burrow down. Bunny knocked up, tried to go for a static totem, didn't work, knocking him back in again, it's gonna be full dots, wall up for Chicago, if they can chain wall into a guardian, just gonna go for full guardian, whatever healing you can do, just to delay the damage over time from the uh, death mark, it's gonna be golden damage from lasso, also helps heal you as well, you got guardian for a little bit longer, just trying to keep himself afloat, as long as their health doesn't drop below 10% health, they're just fine, a bad bunny getting rooted out in the open. Blind out of Chicago. A raptor still gonna keep you in combat just a little bit longer. And Chicago will not get hit by sap. Nothing go road as Bad Bunny does look like he get himself a reset either way. Cloak of Shadow is really early. Chicago just needs to avoid this a little bit. Bad Bunny got 20 seconds on the Shadow Dance now. If Bad Bunny could wait out for the dance, 
full go with the dance, that's going to be huge. But the fact that you are assassination rogue over subtlety, you don't have as good a mobility and the zap is going to be a lot of damage. Got himself a little bit of survivability behind the pillow, but surrounded by these raptors, one of every element. Yo, and next elemental blast is going to be a banger right now. It just might just one shot bad buddy right here. You got no health at all. Root around the corner. Gouge. Lava. Needs to get himself a go. Dance is available. Got himself a full go. Hold on. Dance and full dots are in. Chicago is taking him out, but that's still a lot of damage taken. Depending who's up next. It looks like it's going to be Austin. Yeah, he's going to give him a bit of a breather. Yeah, he's giving him a full on breather. <laughs> and Chicago knows like it's a homie. He can just hang out with him. <laughs> uh, is this just a normal cat or is this like some rare cat? I don't even know, man. Is this a rare cat? Or is this just like a normal? I can't don't remember. I don't even know. I can't even remember. I need to take a look at him again. It does. The old model still looks good. I know it's not as like, it's super jaggy compared to the original Stone Ass and Nightsaber, pretty sure. So just a plain saber. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was like a rare one. I don't know what it is, man. It just it still looks so good. I think it's the old PvP one. Is it? Okay, 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 okay. Got him so full lockdown on to Chicago for just a second. Austin blasting out Chicago, touches the magic, and everything is available. Chicago does have a wall for this one, as well as Guardian is back up and available. So actually, we'll have defenses to battle Austin here. Old Tagamon also is sick. They're still so good. Like Blizzard doing the whole like cartoony kind of graphics or whatever. They stand the test of time and that model still looks great. Big blasters on to Chicago. Got himself a grounding for just a second. That or just a Healy Totem. Actually, did you just barrage a healer totem? I think you did. I think you did. Chicago had no help whatsoever. Got a hit with a breath. Frost. Up in the air. Just kind of booping. Bouncing. Arcana Sphere to knock him against the wall. Does get blasted with yet another touch of the magic. All the time is up. As Austin looking to get himself full blasters in here. Missiles to follow as it is going to be grounding out of Chicago. That was grounding. Okay, okay. So maybe that was grounding that time. With more blasters around the corner as Austin using movement while casting more missiles. Blasting. Just needs one more barrage. Chicago does pick up a little bit of health to hold on. Picked up health out of nowhere. Austin and Viz sitting down for food. Gonna be rude. Immediately got himself a little bit of shields. Ring of fire. Trying not to get interrupted. Knock at Chicago back for a quick second. Is that lightning bolt gonna do it? Ice block out of Austin. Chicago holding on strong. Will not bend to these rogues or these mages. Will not go down without a fight. <laughs> will not go. <laughs> what is it? Quietly into the night. Is that how it goes? Yeah, I think so. Full breath by Austin. Polymorph set up. Raptors helping Chicago build up Maelstrom. Not a lot of mana though at this point. Wall is up and available though. Full burst out of Austin. Chicago with a wall. Trying to fight through Austin's damage. If you could purge the altar, I think it was able to. I think successful purge it. Yeah. Got, pur got altar. Well, no. Maybe. No. I think it was just a reverse blink. That was a purge altar. Chicago had no help whatsoever. Does get a trap the Sunder for just a second. Yes, okay. Oh my god. Mage walks in. Blast arcane bolts into the man's face. It is so rough. With Dax going to be up next. Charge and out versus Austin. Quick fear. And Austin, I believe, does play blink. So he should be able to blink out of stuns. But not a lot of health available for this man. You got to find a way to escape him. Trinket. Oh, Polymorph interrupted. Hold on. Arcane lock for a second. Austin got himself a bit of the altar. Trinket immediately just to keep himself ahead of Dax as best as possible. Walking him through the ring of fire. Got himself the altar. So you could reposition. Touching the match is going to be huge for you. Got himself quite a bit of range. Dax with the reflect. Got himself at least a little bit of defense. Main and more though. Leaping in. Trying to close this gap. Second leap to follow. Looking to catch up a little bit of healing. But my god, the damage with an Arcane Sphere. Knocking him back. But watch. Dax has no health. If you just walk over there. Oh, no, 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 no. He got himself a little bit of healing. Just a very, very bit. Just a very bit. And Austin just looking to give himself cooldowns and recovery, I think. He, I think he's got it. He's sitting down for food. He knows he can win this one. He knows. He feels it. Stun onto Austin. Has a blink available. Ring of Fire. Actually fully connected. Yeah. Ring of Fire is fully set up. Dax charges in. Might have gotten quite a bit of damage. But I think Austin was able to evade a breath to follow. Austin just tried to keep himself afloat. Into more shifting power. The more of those he can get, the more cooldown reduction he can get out of it. Dodge of the magic with a barrage did end up committing some cooldowns either way. My goodness, trying to get himself some procs in case there's going to be a stealthy after him. Is it hockey next? It is going to be hockey. That's going to be a tough matchup. Without an ice block, I don't know how Austin's going to be able to do it. He's going to have to play a hell of a game right now. He's got images, he's got the homies, shields, he's got himself uh, procs coming in back to back. 
It's gonna be a tough matchup. At least he's got full bar of health. Garotes and full dots could be the end of him. If Hawk is like super aggressive here, I think it just might be over. He just goes in for shiv. Immediate dots. Austin blinking away. It's gonna be full set of dots. Austin, I don't know if you can somehow recover this. I think it's over, right? It's done. Yeah, nothing he can do. He just cloaked. Even if you could see the rogue, even if it wasn't sell there, it's over. Nothing you could do. My god, RKV is stupid as a warrior. It is not an easy matchup for sure. It is not an easy matchup. Hockey does go for a quick blind on Tabuna as he's switching over to the Fire Mage. Interesting. Trying to see if he can get himself a good. Do you even see Hockey? No, you could have guessed though. Good guesses either way. Yeah, I guess a rogue. I think you got if you don't got a block for full death mark. I don't think there's a way to win. Maybe if you get yourself a fat ultra and you're applying into like 42% dampening, maybe there's a chance. There's just none. There's just no shot. Buna trying to see if you can rush over towards Hockey, back blinking over to him. He's in sh are you playing Shimmer or are you playing Normal Blink? I can't even tell, honestly. But needs to get some damage over onto Hockey whenever possible. Looking to get him so a couple of hits. Ice block really early here. Was that dance? No. So for Hockey, this could be an opportunity just to go in for a dance, big garrote and everything. You might have yourself a go here. <laughs> is it going to be Hockey taking out this mages right now? Because he has himself an opportunity. Is Buna backing up? Buna trying to reposition. Images are available. Gonna help reduce some of the damage taken. Hockey goes in. Sepsis and everything is up. King's Bane. There it goes! Massive King's Bane. That's a cheat death. It's over. Holy. Holy Hockey. Oh my goodness! As Paladine. Yeah, I got your name right finally this time. It took me a second. It took me some learning here. It's gonna be up next versus Hockey. Hockey's backing up out of there. Still not able to catch a proper reset just yet. Oh, Wake of Ashes is gonna keep in combat. Evasion is up. Waiting for at least 30 seconds until he has himself a full go. Vanish coming up very, very soon though. He's just trying to stay aggressive. Disarm onto Dane, which is huge. He releases some of the damage Paladin can do. Backing up away, Cloak of Shadows is back up and available. Dane does a bubble, does have a bop. If Akis can somehow proc a bubble or a bop out of Dane, maybe with a blind, maybe with like a kidney, gouge onto Dane. Doesn't sit that long at all though. Vanish out of hockey. Oh man, he might just have to go in for like a full go or half go. Try to see if he can get cooldowns out of Dane. That or send in Deathmark, get a bubble out of Dane, but maybe save Dane's for later, right? Maybe that'll be the play. Dance and everything is available. Dane better be very careful. Is it death mark? Stun. Wait, Dane. My last words were wait, Dane. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Hockey. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Dance King's Bane is a lot of damage. Oh. Lordy. Let's see if he can get us this another one going, boys. Maybe the last one for the road, yeah? <laughs> That's rogues. I did 9.5 million healing. That's a lot, man. King's Bane be cooking, dude. King's Bane is cooking. It is an insanely strong ability. I feel like... Uh, not a lot... Not as many people play Assassination Rogue in PvP. Like, Subtlety is a very popular spec. Or Outlay even is a very popular spec, too. But, like, Assassination doesn't get it nearly as much play. But, man, the amount of King's Bane damage you do. Spam healing GG. Yeah, that's crazy. 9.5 million healing. It is your basic arrest of shaman, man. It is wild. Ready? Beautiful. Chicago, let me know if you're ready and we'll be good to go. And we'll get another one going. Maybe last one for the night. I've been enjoying these duels a lot, by the way. This has been a ton of fun. I do have a video project I do want to start working on, if possible. I'm also very, very hungry. I didn't win last night because I didn't have my moss summoned. True, gotta get the Mothman. You gotta get the Mothman out. That is true. You, you know what? I don't. I. I. <laughs> Some people would be like, "Wait, what do you mean the moth?" You know what? I agree. Get whatever gets you comfy. Get whatever gets you keeps you going. If you gotta get the pet out, you know, get a pet out. You want? Okay, we need Onomas boys. Onomas for Team Chicago. They're listed over in LG, by the way. If you guys want to find them, raids legacy. We got hockey. We got Chicago. They're looking for a plus one. And it'll be good to go. Look at Dream. <laughs> Wait. Dream is a different Dream. It's an Evoker that choose with. Never mind. I was going to say Dream. I thought it was a Guildy. Uh, potentially. But no. Different Dream. 
do, 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 do. Nobody is on compared to people that I messaged earlier. But we got one up available. Tyler, how you doing, man? SOD. We did some SOD on uh, Wednesday, I think it was. I also did some RFD runs on SOD. I got nothing to do in SOD and now that my rogue is up. Uh, not rogue. My druid is max level. I just got to raid. And like trying to find a raid spot. I don't even. Ever since they changed like the whole 10 man rating to 20, it's been a little confusing in guild. I'll 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 see if I can get it working. Trapture, yeah, we can get him in here probably. Um, oh yes, yeah, so you mean? Oh hey, trap, how you doing? Hey, is there any spots for S St? I don't. Can you give me the down low? Cause every time I look at the guild elites Discord, I'm like, dude, there's a at everybody ping in every one of the channels. I would just miss seeing. Daring's tan man where I could just go and sign up and it was straightforward. Now it's like, dude, I've had five people whisper me like, hey, I'm gonna be raiding in SO uh, in uh for SOD. Five people from guild. I don't even know who's who. I besides Daring team, I don't know anybody else. I was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Five people asked me if I'm raiding. So I assume like, oh, maybe somebody's looking to make a raid team or whatever together. And Matuk's linked me a list of like, hey, we got a raid team in there. I was like, cool. But then the whoever's lead, they're they don't have their whoever's raid raid lead. I think it was some guy, but like they're you know how you normally daring who is raid leading and a 10 man there? There isn't one for the 20 man. Like whoever was lead on that team, I, I it's a different name. Right? So he has a sheet with one guy's name, we have a 20 man with another dude's name, and another 20 man with another dude's name. I'm like, I'm so confused, man. Sort it out. Yeah, I'm just confused. I have no idea what's happening. It's been it's been weird. Uh, should we do 45? Uh, if we can't get a fifth, I think we'll just call it. Because it is about that 705. I am hungry, man. I gotta get something to eat. You know what I mean? Hellcaller talents mentions targets of UA instead of just targets. You think it's gonna be multiple UAs, Jake? I mean, I think maybe that's for PvP purposes because you can't have multiple UAs if you PvP. You can get a PvP talent. I don't know if there's an Affliction Warlock out here that I can peep oh perfect affliction warlock oh uh they don't have it but there'll be pvp unless we removed it but there will normally be a pvp town that lets you um lets you wait uh, normally when your way is up like it makes the enemy take more damage while your way is up right so you keep it as a debuff here we go um or maybe it's not in I've not seen it. Doesn't UA normally have a thing where it's like, while UA is on a target, they take additional damage? Why am I wrong about that? <laughs> Multiple UA. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe that's how they will work it. Which would be kind of... At least that would be a dot heavy, though. I think it's a GM hooch, and then freaks in there are raiding an hour so to see. I have no idea, man. But if it's gonna, if they're going to be raiding it like on... Um, I guess also, I don't even know what days you're raiding either. You know what I mean? If it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then I'm just SOL. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this should have. I kind of. And maybe 20 man rating will be better for SOD. I, I, I just kind of miss our little 10 man community we had with daring in them. I kind of miss that. I don't think they should have removed that. I I personally would have liked if you could have just kept that and just did maybe, maybe like, hey, there's a 10 man, but you can do a 20 man, like a choice kind of thing. But yeah, <laughs> going from a 10 to 20 and we had what, like eight different teams. Now it consolidated down to two and it's like, okay, who do I talk to? <laughs> There's too many people in the guild that only track with like a small portion. I have no idea. Options would have been cool. Yeah, I think options would have been awesome. You know, they could have even done like different gear or whatever, right? Oh, 20 man, it's a lot of people. You can make it a little harder. At least it would have been like, hey, you just want to have a casual 10 man thing. Which is kind of what I was looking for. That would have been dope. But maybe they'll maybe they'll listen to feedback. They've been pretty receptive. I don't want to be negative about it. I feel like they're already getting quite a bit of negative. They're already getting as much negative negativity to deal with for phase three stuff. Like it seems like certain forums are on fire everywhere you look. Everybody's upset about it. I don't want to add to that negativity. I remember Legion had multiple UAs. Yeah. Only way to um we're only the only dots you needed someone to kill you quickly. Yeah, I didn't like multiple UAs though. Like they it had had good parts about it but also bad parts what i didn't like about it is like the fact that you needed to ramp up that much to get a kill right and for affliction it was awful for pvp right because it's like i'm ramping 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 uh they removed it okay there goes my opportunity right 
I think they just need to not do multiple UAs for like soul shards. They don't need to do Malefic Rapture either. Um, they need to make... Um, I don't know what you would spend um, soul shards on then. Actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, to be honest, option, yeah, uh, and the rogue CS is over. And if a rogue club shadows, yeah, yeah, that was super annoying for a lot of warlocks. Just, it felt like it was just, it just finally getting a big go. You're ramping up, you're ramping. Ah, oh, they moved it. Okay, there goes my damage. Now I gotta wait and ramp up again. At least the current version of warlock, right? You put up dots and you got consistent damage. I think they need to basically find a way to make the PvP warlock, like, Constantly, like they need to reduce Malefic Rapture damage to maybe be like a filler ability, right? Just a better version of a filler once you have enough soul shards. Um, yeah, I that's, maybe that's what they gotta do, right? You just gotta re reduce it quite a bit, or maybe give them there was like a ability that Warlock used to have that lets them ramp up their dots where they tick more often, but it was like on a 30 minute, 30 second cooldown, and maybe they could just add that and have that cost soul shards. So you have like a bursty ability, but you could just always spec for like sustain. Because I would like for Affliction to be a sustain spec at the end of the day. Is the solution just play PvE kick W? I don't know. I feel like Affliction... I like. I think the PvP playstyle of Affliction Warlock with hard hitting dots that do good sustain damage, I think is probably my personal favorite version of Affliction Warlock. Because the current PvE plays around Malefic Rapture and I'm just not a fan. I don't like it being bursty. Like, maybe if you talent into it to be bursty, I think it's fine, but like, it's naturally wants to be bursty. It wants to be like Destro. And I don't think it should. And we're able to join Chicago to see if the last match. We'll see, we'll see. We'll give it a couple of minutes more. If not, we'll just call it here, boys. But yeah. <laughs> I. I don't know, just Affliction. I think it's like a, it's a class that's all about maintaining dots and whittling down the enemy over time, putting corruptions and curses and letting the enemy wither away. Right? I don't just can't imagine them being like, I'm bursty, you know? That's a Destro with Chaos Bolts. But to say an Affliction class, it must be dreaming. They just need to be less afraid about dots. That's all. And they need to give like a soft cap to Corruption and Agony. When you're putting Corruption and Agony above five targets, kind of like how Rip works, right? You know how Rip does it? With, um, um, What's it called? <laughs> Can I find a Feral? Are you a Feral? Mm, no, you're Boomkin. Are you Feral? Probably Boomkin, right? Rasto. Um, was it AoE Rip Talent? But it has like some cooldown reduction. Oh my god, we can end with a 45. Uh, I mean, if you guys want it, we could just go with a 45, just last one for the night. Yeah, if you guys are down for it, yo, Canaric, Chicago, let me know if you guys are just down to just go one more. Just a quick 45 to end the night. Sure. The Chicago and Canerica down. We'll just send it. A 45. They got Seawork on their team. Then again, they got <laughs> they got <laughs> Held Rock on the other team, so it's 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 a lot. You know what? Blades Edge. No holds barred. We're sending into Blades Edge. We're just doing it. Wait, it might have bugged. It might have bugged. Yeah, it probably bugged. I think Chicago was still an LG, wasn't he? No! Last one for the night, boys! Last one for the night! We'll call it here. I'll go get some food and stuff. I'll get some work done. I got a project thing I'm gonna be working on. I need to put some stuff together for it, but I'm excited. Also, so close to getting tired of mount. I need next week for the for the Tuscar to give me the right fishing spot in tier hold. Can we just like can we just like pray that it drops into your hold for me? Because then we get Tyvon. And then I feel like I'll be basically done with Dragonflight as a completionist thing. And I'll go back to do the Shadowlands one later for the mount. Because that one looks also really, really cool. I think it's still worth. That one's going to be a pain. I have most of them done, but not all. Alrighty. So Twitch. Last one for the night, boys. We got ourselves Austin over for the Team 1. All right, to go with Bad Bunny on this team. Buna as a Mage Merlin, as well as Dane versus the Blade class. We got ourselves Hockey's. Dax as well as Chicago holding the board as a four-man squad. All they gotta do is just uh, take down one and uh, one and um, 
one and a what a quarter man <laughs> one and a quarter of a health bar and they'll be just fine dax gonna be first up versus bad bunny immediately goes in with a cheap shot saps is off the bat shift to follow stun up by dax got himself full bleeds maybe potentially massive damage try to see if he can get himself a good go versus bad bunny is it gonna be another bad bunny is it dc or is he just i think it's a dc i think it's a dc Dax streak instead of it? Hold on a second. <laughs> I think it was definitely DC. Someone went down. Someone went wrong. That is at least a uh, cheat death that a bad bunny does go in for a vanish here. For Dax, he does end up burning a trinket. Hold on. For bad bunny, this could be an opportunity. This time to follow. He does have some defensive that you could technically use evasion for bad bunny. You need a stun for this one. You need to lock him down somehow. Kid the shot by bad bunny. Does he have himself a full go? He does get himself dance and everything available. Is that going to be death mark? Cloak of Shadows is up. Everything is up. He's trying not to give a death mark. Charged by Dax. Trying to go for maybe a step. Doesn't get himself a step. Reset. Bad Bunny. No dots are in. Dax. Maybe in a lot of trouble. Mind get a rally cry right here. Otherwise. I was going to say for a second. He needs a rally cry there. Shock. He's charging out. If he's fast enough. Maybe he'll be able to catch Bad Bunny. Out in the open. I don't know if he's got any dots on him. I think he's actually clean. In rage. We did zero killing then. Yeah. Yeah. In rage. Regen against evasion. Does nothing. It's not, yeah, it's so rough. You have to, I think, that, that might not even help you either. But if you rally and cry, it keeps you above 10% health for a couple of seconds. Maybe that could have been the play, but it's just, it's barred health, right? You're borrowing. Set and press. All good, all good, all good. All good, all good, all good, honestly. I feel it, I feel it. You're setting up for next guy. Part of the fire power one of those, it makes you think about your competition in front of you, but also for the guy ahead of you too. So you're trying to plan out your CDs as well. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That is a thing that people start playing it a little differently in these duels for sure. Big burst of the Bad Bunny. Hawk is taking him out. Quick Cloak does send everything into the other Rogue. He needed to make sure that the Rogue does get taken out. They got to start making a headway over for that team too. With Buna going to be up next. Hockey's last time versus Buna did go in with a full dance and everything. If he's very careful here, he should be able to whittle away the mage bit by bit. Garotes are going to be huge. If you can get those Garotes silences, got himself full dots. Buna with an ultra. Just trying to wait it out. Did you blink that? Did you blink towards the corner? Is that what happened? Might have actually. Hawk is just going in for a little cheeky Garot all the time, reversing all his damage completely. 20 seconds for Hawk is with his uh, dance. I don't know if he's going to go without dance or just... Yeah, just going to try to see if you have a dry run. Not going for the stuns. I think he's saving those for dance for a little bit later. But Fire Blast are doing a number of damage to him. So Hawk is, if he's playing with fire... May not be a great feeling. Does do quite a bit of damage. Hold on, Hockey's Fire Mage is actually hurt now. Hold on, even Hockey is like, wait a second, Living Flame actually did damage. Hold on a moment, I don't like this one. Buddha taking quite a bit of damage from these dots though. Just absolutely bleeding out on the arena floor. Not looking all that good. Hockey just needs a little bit more to finish it. Ice Buck for Buddha will be in the next ability to use. He does have cheat death as well, so he's not going to die insta. Ice Buck, does he break it? He breaks it just to get some damage on the hockeys. Blind by the rogue. Taking a bit of that damage. That living bomb does a number. Hold on a second. Living bomb does actually very decent damage. So if Buna can keep that living bomb up on the rogue every time, that's actually going to whittle him away bit by bit. Trying to see if he can maybe pick up the eye. Sap by the rogue. Got himself dance. I don't think he's going to commit, right? Unless. Do you commit? Cheat death? Maybe? It might, it's definitely going to be cheat death out of Buna. That is going to be no dance breath. Buna just end up cheating it. Yeah, not much you can do. That is rough. That is rough. I forgot that they buffed Fire Mage, actually. It does quite a bit of damage now. It definitely does quite a bit. Dane is going to be up next. Haka says everything for Dane, but also has Cloak. I think you just go in and send everything, right? Maybe Cloak to make sure you have an escape. I think you just got to send. You got to get the bubbles. You got to get the bops out of the guy. I think you have to. It's just your health is a little bit in the, a bit of a rough spot. Can he do it? The full cheap. Dots are in. Death mark. Everything is up into another Garot. I think of that triple cheap show. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on a second. I think that maybe the Paladin was trying to spam Shield of Vengeance there. Is that what happened? That would explain it. My goodness. Holy. He was like, okay, it's a short stun. It's a very short stun. I got my Shield of Vengeance in just a moment. Pop. My god. That's a lot. Hockey takes a lot of damage behind the pillar. Got himself a cloak at the very least. Trying to keep some pressure on to Austin. Cannot go for proper stuns here because that's just going to be a blink out of the mage. Does go for the stab though as he gets for a bit of a knock. Vanish is available. Does Hockey stay in? 
He stays in. Cheap shot does not have a way to reconnect with the mage. There's going to be missiles firing off on him. Cannot really do much until he, until he gets himself shadow step or anything, though. Oh, it's going to be a rough one. It is going to be a rough. Blind coming up very, very soon, though. Also, dance available very soon. Hawk is still taking so much damage from behind the pillar. Evasion, that he's just trying to use whatever defenses he can. But I think it's just over to death. Yeah, Austin does end up taking him with Blade Class. going to be up next. Last two left over for the Team 2. But also, last two left over for Team 1. Blade Class immediately with the Blade Storm. Austin with an Alter should be able to reposition. Got himself a uh, kick. Actually, was able to reflect that kick with the uh, precog, giving him a bit of that kick immunity, but also CC immunity. Missiles around the corner. Blade does go for the stun, but that knock was so perfect. It was just pixel perfect. It's just out in the open, rooted, barrages, arcane blast, missiles to follow. There's just nothing you can do. Rally is the only thing you can do. Rally and cry. Oh no, it comes down to Chicago holding the fort for Team 2, letting Austin get himself all the recovery he can, and Austin walking into this one with everything available. A bubble there and hack is all damn was gone. True, true, true. Yeah, you have to be, you have to just watch your health, right? When you use Death Mark, I think you just see Death Mark your bubble. I think as a paladin, you just see Death Mark your bubble. I know you're thinking of like, man, if I just don't bubble here, I use Shield of Venice. A lot of paladins do this too. A lot of them will be like, wait, hold on, that sounds so short, I can just shield the vendors. Hold on a second, I can delay it a little bit, I can get that damage burst. I think just bubble it. I think you just see Rogue commit the cooldowns and bubble it. You play it super, super safe. Definitely play it really safe. Chicago took a lot of damage from to Austin though. That is a full burst available for the major Arcanosphere around the corner. As Chicago goes in for a wall together with Guardian. This is your opportunity to recover, but also reduce some damage. He's taking knock up onto Austin in just a second. Does go for the breath before the Sunder comes down for the sham. He does go for the poly into a trinket for Chicago. Lasso onto Austin. Ring of Frost. They're just seeing one another. Because Austin making sure to take down those totems whenever they are up. Ring of Fire. And Chicago having to leap through it. Knocking it back. Big zapper by Chicago. Got his taser out for this one. This is going to be more blast to follow for Austin. Does get himself a juke kick on Chicago. With shift and power to let him recuperate some of his cooldowns. Ice block still available. So he's okay. Touching the match on to Chicago. Austin may just be able to take it. Does go for a kick maybe. No he doesn't really do not to kick. That's going to be juke by Austin. Big barrage into Chicago. Is it enough though? That's a massive touch in the Imagine there's just nothing you can do. I guess an arcade major skill is Austin. Yeah, three for him and three for Hawk is man between mages and rogues. You know what? World of Magecraft, world of Rogecraft, we're just living in we're just literally dummies in it. That's all. Confirmed. Guaranteed. Blizzard. <laughs> I do wonder how this is gonna end up being in war within, because some of the hero specs. You know what? We haven't seen the hero spec for Assass, so I can't say much, but the uh, mage ones. Don't look that bad. I do want to see the Sun Fury though. I Arcane Sun Fury, I want to see what that'll look like. That might be nutty. Blades, it is so goofy. Yeah, that map definitely does help some classes, that's for sure. Mages, for sure. Look at that knock on the warrior. It was so picture perfect. Can wait for Fury Blade Storm. True, dude, that's gonna be so good. Oh, Fury Blade Storm is gonna be nice. Cause that's so good in PvP. Blade Storm just gives you that immunity that you need. It's so nice. And getting those random procs on this Execus too. I think it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be nuts. And the fact that it will let you like still use abilities while you're blade storming, oh, it's gonna be the best. I'm excited. I am very excited. Hell yeah. Second it second time. I get Omnibar error reload. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. We saw you stop and still there, Kaneric. I I I guess they, there's no way you're just like standing still. Yeah. Dalek, like, time to see what's up, Metis. How you doing, my guy? Doesn't mean in static field. True, but still, I mean, yeah, I'll take it for the rage breaths, for polys, for rogue blinds. Like, I'll take it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can spare with like static and walk through it. Oh, tr can you actually? That's awesome. Crazy. Okay, Shadow Dance. He has to combo the dance with Cold Blood King's Bane. He does. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, it's a Cold Blood King's Bane combo. It's a lot of damage. The initial damage of King's Bane is quite a bit, but also the dot afterwards is pretty strong too. Static is so buggy. It is buggy, yeah. It's almost like they didn't intend for it to be an ability that would let you grip players. It's almost like, oh, it works like this sometimes. Okay. They never really solidified it to be like a proper mechanic. I almost feel like it should be, right? I almost feel like it should be. Thanks for the games, Dal. Thanks for the games. For Thanks for joining, boys. Thank you so much. It's so fun hosting these, man. See you next week. Yep, definitely doing them Friday for you, Saturday for NA. I've gotten the betas last time I joined. Hey, man, motherfucker, join us again. We're doing them Friday for you, Saturday for NA. Still hosting these. 
I've done it in a solo shuffle a lot. Was in it, uh, a lot of it was initially accidental, and I figured out you could spell it means static. That is weird that that's an interaction too. Like, how was static programmed? It was definitely programmed as an ability that if you press spell reflect, like, it's got to be an ability that maybe you can. It's is it reflectable or is it just the fact that you? I don't even know, right? Like how? What? How should that? How does that work? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's weird. There's some abilities that are reflectable too. Like there's a meteor, no, the meteor ability. It was like a fire bomb that an NPC would throw at um, I forgot who. It's like a fire bomb ability that an NPC would toss in a dungeon. I think it was the uh, for season four of Shadowlands. It was a the docks, iron docks, and an enemy either like a chimera would shoot a fireball or a guy would throw a fire grenade. And if you're in there and you press spell reflect. It hits you, it created an AoE puddle, and reflected the damage they throw and the puddle back at the guy, and you would just constantly burn until the puddle was gone. It was a weird interaction, and I wonder if there's like something funky happening with Static too. Yeah, GG's, have a great night. Thank you boys so much for coming by. I had an absolute blaster of a night. These have been so fun between the EU and NA this week. The fact that Season of Discovery Phase 3 is out, and the fact that we got duels has been awesome. I actually kind of surprised. I was thinking it was going to be a really, really quiet week, but the fact that we got games, it's crazy. <laughs> so that's been awesome. Thank you all. You guys are wonderful, beautiful. Thank you so much for coming by, man. Yeah, the Grand, uh, the Grand, or I, so I think it's out of the Grand. I want to say, okay, it's maybe not, maybe the Grand, but I want to say almost where my brain jumped in is when you let me see if I can view the map. <laughs> can I get the map of that place? I think it'll be a little bit easier if I get the map, because trust me, it's like, Adal, you're going on tangent. I know I am. Stay with me, though. Iron Docks, right? Show the map. Okay. Big version of the map. So you first start here at the very beginning of the dungeon. Then you fight dudes. You kill this guy. Go over here. Do the uh, the, the wheel do the, the, the wheel thing. You go down here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Kill the boss. It's this lane right here. And I think it's about these stairs or these stairs. There's a guy that's like a hunter guy with a spear. And there's a chimera thing with two heads. And either the guy throws a grenade or the chimera like spits a fireball. And if you stand there and you press reflect, it reflects the initial hit and like the puddle damage back on the thing. Like you'll still see the puddle of fire on the floor, but like the thing just melts. Uh, last boss of Gron, chimera all the way, tiger boss link. Done it with the chimera on the way to tiger boss. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last boss Gron, does he also do it? Wait, you mean like when he knocks you back and he shoots you? Can you reflect that? There's no shot you can, right? Or is that another ability he does? Because I don't remember that place at all. Like, in terms of mechanics, I don't remember it being difficult, but I also don't remember, like, anything. I just remember that was spell uh, reflectable. It's, again, weird interaction that you would think, that shouldn't work. And for some reason it does. So I wonder if... Tangent aside, I wonder if that something has to do with maybe how they programmed or designed Static Totem, which definitely doesn't feel like it's playing by the rules that we all were used to. Boys, thanks so much for coming by. Appreciate you. I'm going to go get some food. I may see you guys Monday if there's anything to stream and do and talk about. Definitely we'll see you Tuesday, though. Alrighty, Sunday, I'm just going to be chilling, maybe playing some Plunder uh probably working on projects though otherwise but yeah thank you all uh, i didn't care for my character it was a demon hunter called kia what uh key a this and i got one shot by a pally like so many years ago i have a bad time with memory so no i'll be honest i'm really really bad with memory but if i see a character see a mog there's a good chance it might ring a bell i'm a lot more visual like that names really bad with those i don't do it on purpose I promise you but like mogs, I'm like, oh, wait, I know this guy. Because there's a demon hunter over in the EU. He has the same mog every single time. And I never remember his name, Shadow something. I don't remember. It's someone Russian. But every time I see the mog, I'm like, whoa, that's the boy. I don't know what it is. I didn't have a mug back then. <laughs> I didn't know what. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, boys. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you maybe on Monday, definitely Tuesday, though. War Within Alpha very, very soon. Uh, Because it's going to be out before Season 4, and Season 4 is out in three weeks. So we're going to be seeing this thing ridiculously soon. I'm excited. So hopefully you guys are too. Alrighty, boys. Alrighty.
Bye all. Peace.